Hello everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card live stream. We had a super late card stream last night. It was like at 2 a.m. in the morning for me. I don't know what it was for you guys. It was so late, and we opened up 46 packs, 46 of them, of the Neo Discovery Destiny, not just Destiny, Neo Discovery Japanese packs. That's what I meant to say. And man, it was a wild ride. We got a bunch of cards to grade now. I got some I'm going to be grading. I have no doubt that Mazvar is probably going to ask me to grade some of his. Uh, maybe Matt will want to do a grade. I don't know. Or he can send it off and grade it himself. Or he could have me hold it. Whatever he wants. That's a great card. You guys want to see what I pulled? I pulled some good cards myself. I was opening them along with you guys. Umbreon, Espeon, Espeon. We got Smeargles. He's cool. The Tyranitar. Unfortunately, one of the Tyranitars is damaged. It might be this one. Scyther. Real happy about that. Houndoom. Mazvar did a trade with me. We got double Kabutops. We traded Mary for that because Mary was sad. She missed out on Jolteon. You know, I don't think I'm going to grade this right away. I'll worry about this another day. Unknown. Unknown's not exactly... He's not worth the money, I would say. He's a fun card to look at, but I don't need him graded. Whoa, that started fast. Here's the money for grading all my Neo Holos. $18 for 16 Holos. $288 and then $32 for the... Hey, thanks SBR for breaking it down, for man. Total of $320. Thanks for breaking it down. That makes it much easier. Okay, so Mahasvara does want his cards graded. I'm jelly that you got this one. I want this one. I don't have it. Hitmontop, Houndoom, Ursaring. Yeah, I don't have the Ursaring either. So Fortress is the uh, one of the less popular ones. Probably Fortress, Magnemite. This miracle's kind of a goofball. I don't know how popular he is. So here's Mahasvara. Tell you what, let's start sleeving these up. How's it going, everyone? Can you set my Neo cards aside? I think I can do that. Yeah, I'm jelly that you got this one. This one looks so good. What's up with the Neo cards having like some of the best arts from the vintage cards? It's going to be Smeargle. Him on top. Look at that spiky boy. He got spiky feet. Oh. Cat's getting in trouble over there. <laughs> She's probably jumping in the trash pile. My cats love the trash pile. We just finished a three hour stream over on my main channel. So this is like a streamer marathon for me. <laughs> okay, Fortress. Do I live stream every day? Just about, yeah. On a rare occasion, I'll take a break. But most days I do live stream. Most days. Sort of a routine I have going. Might be random when I start. Light Buska says, I've noticed you've been doing more Pokemon card streams. Well, I think that's because I've been getting into the cards more than I used to. Like, they're just so fun. I, I really enjoy collecting them. Strato! Neo grading PLZ using my one free grade. Sounds good. Checking that. You got a lot of common cards coming your way, Mazbara. Ah, you got a Wobbuffet. I'm jelly. <laughs> Here we go. Wobbuffet. And we got some nice donations in the uh, previous live stream. I'm always surprised by the generosity of the community. It's really helped me a lot because, uh, you know, ad revenues dropped so hard ever since coronavirus started. Companies... The economy is in a, basically a recession because everyone's not working now. So what's going on? Here, let's pull them back out. Get my fingers positioned on this well. What's going on is people aren't buying as much, and this causes the recession uh, to occur. And then when a company is in a recession, they start doing layoffs, and they stop buying ads. 
And as companies stopped buying ads, people who relied on ads for revenue lose some of their income, like me. Oh, right, I forgot grade one of my EVs from the Neo set. One of my EVs from the Neo set. Sounds good, man. We'll grab one of those. So we're going to have to have a backup backup box for all these polys mode. So cool. I like that we're getting a chance to show these off again. I got some mail to open after we're all caught up. And we got some cards for sale, of course, like we always do. God damn it. Sometimes this moves. It's like the thing doesn't want to open up. It's like it's sticky. There it goes. I'm trying to be very gentle with the card, so I don't want to handle it wrong. There it goes. Dude, you got a lot of cards, Mods. Bro. You went deep on this just like I did. Kabu tops, Kabu tops, so cool. It's an interesting card. Look, he only requires one energy card, so this card would have been able to attack very early in the game without much buildup, and that probably would have been part of your strategy. I stopped playing Pokemon cards right around the time this set came out, so that's a cool blast from the past. Yeah, for sure, man. I think a number of people did. I think a number of people, they stopped around the Gym Heroes era. Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge. And then the Neo set came out, and people were like, hey, check it out, Neo set. And I think that some collectors were already getting burned out, like, yeah, Pokemon cards. I can't buy these forever. <laughs> but that was back when we were kids. I'm an adult now. Are these yours? Did I pull these out of you? I think I pulled these out of yours. Yeah, they are yours. Those are from the uh, base set, I remember. I recognize them now. So he wants an Eevee as well. We should be able to find a nice Eevee in one of these. Teddy Ursa. The very concept of card collecting was brand new for kids, you know what I mean? Alright, here's a nice looking Eevee. I think this one has light scratches there. See that? I'm going to go ahead and find another one. How's it going, Ninetales? Yeah, we, we used the link in the description to Streamlabs in order to make purchases. Basically, Streamlabs just asks for your PayPal or your credit card. That's what Streamlabs does. A lot of people keep on saying Pokemon sucks, but I don't care what they... Who says Pokemon sucks? Oh, are you talking about the current Pokemon Sword and Shield? Oh, there's a good one. Yeah, we'll do this one. Yeah, the current Pokemon Sword and Shield has not been good for the company, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, there's still many beloved Pokemon. So it's not going to be like a death blow to them. They just got to do a little bit better. It kind of sucks that... I don't know. It kind of sucks that they make mistakes at all, but... I got my mom's credit card. I'm from Brazil. <laughs> How's it going, King Taco? I hope the DLC for Sword and Shield is good. Yeah, really. <laughs> Who doesn't hope for that? We're all hoping. There it goes. Fill us in on the Eddie story. <laughs> the Eddie story. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on now. I hate it when they get stuck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did I miss one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, here it is, 16. <laughs> I missed it. I was like, what? 
and the Espeon. Perfect. And the Eevee, you're all good to go. Let me go ahead and write your names down on all these. Maybe Lacut will help with my sadness. <laughs> what? Lacut? I think Cheese wants to cut a Shining Legends. Are you sure, Cheese? Mazavara. 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 <laughs> Crying scissors. Cheese, you turn it into the guy who cuts the cards. Mazavara. Hold on, I got got to get Mazvar's name on literally all these. <laughs> and Mazvara, and Mazvara. All right. Wow. That's like I'm holding on to a lot of value in my hands. We missed one. Let's get this name on it. That's why we go through them. That's why we do that. Make sure no mistakes were made. And it one's mirrored, but I'm gonna know it's you. Let me just fix it. It says like man. I know it's you. I know I wrote that one. All right, perfect. Now if only I had a place to store it. <laughs> I've run out of room. That's sort of stuff back there. Oh, you know what? Tell you what. I gotta submit these into the grading request as well. Give me a moment, guys. I know this is a big job. This is a big job. So this will take a second. You guys can get comfortable. You can get your popcorn. We're gonna open up the rocket hideout. We're gonna go to PSA requests. Scroll to the bottom. All right, and this one's going to say Mahasvara. This is going to say Espeon Neo Discovery Japan. Polytoad Neo Discovery Japan. Two times Kabutops. Magnemite. Ah, you had times two of the Polytoad. Let me update that. That's going to be. Tyranitar? Is that's not like a dark Tyranitar, is it? Is it just regular Tyranitar? Hit Mon Top. Either. Hound Doom. Oops, I didn't mean to hit enter. Discord changed so that now you have to like click on your message in order to edit it. Isn't that annoying? You think they did that to make it harder to delete messages instantly? I bet that's why they did it. Wabafet Fortress. All right, so the house room needs to be updated to say two times. Then we have Wabafet. Wabafay. Ursaring. Alright, so we did Fortress, we did Ursaring, we did the extra Hound Doom. It says time two. Hit him on top has to be updated. He needs two of those. What's this last card? An Eevee back there. Okay. So him on top is times two. Smeargle. Really weird Pokemon. Houndour, really cute Pokemon. 
and Eevee. Whew. There we go. So you can check that on your own time if you want Mahasvara to see if there were any mistakes made. We are ready to get the, the stream moving. By the way, guys, now's a good time to purchase cards if you're looking to buy cards and have them shipped right away. I'm doing the shipping tonight, probably right after this live stream. Probably take a little break and then get to work. I'll put these up on the shelf again. Man, that's a lot of, lot of value right there. It's kind of scary. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Big Lotto is moving on these booster... Uh, Big Lotto is moving on this Vintage Jungle Booster Pack, okay? Somebody bought a ticket last night. There's a few tickets left. Okay, so that's Big Lotto. Big Loot Box. We're going to get rid of the name Lotto. I don't know how... I don't know, like, what the rules are on games that are chance games. I don't really understand how any of that stuff works. Lost it. Do we have a... We have a Lotto 1, don't we? Somewhere. Is it back here? It's back here. This Angel Z. <laughs> here it is. Lotto 1. It's going to be Latios, Latios. How much is the big lotto? The big lotto is going to be $10 per ticket. So it's a little more expensive. Okay. It looks like I'm out of Shining Legends. Oh, wait. Here we go. They're right here on the desk. All right. Cheese says he wants to cut open a Shining Legend. Oh, the scissors. I left the scissors in the kitchen. <laughs> Let me go get the scissors. Okay, I'm back. Let me grab my drink, actually. Oh, nice. The drink's still full. Ah. All right. Just washed these. So, my uh, kitchen scissors were missing, and I used these to cut open a pack of bacon. These are now the bacon scissors. Do his chair so noisy. There we go. Get the microphone back on my shirt. All right, here we go, Cheese. So Cheese has commanded me to cut his booster pack. Cheese, if you want, you don't have to. You can save it right now, Cheese. You can change your mind. Someone should pay him double not to cut it in half. Well, I couldn't do that. This belongs to Cheese. Doesn't work that way. Moss it. It's going up here. Couldn't do that. This one actually belongs to cheese. That's how this one works. Throw that over there. This is property of cheese. Cheese of cheese and affiliates. Are you sure, cheese? It's your last chance. Here we go. He said, "Cut it." He's a serious man. Let's find out what the pulls were. And the pulls were... Oh, 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 Reshiram Hoopa. Nothing important. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's always scary. He got, he got to cut a secret rare in half. And I'm going to cry my eyes out. Doku Dill says... Uh, Dakuro Dill says... First time watching the stream live. Glad to be here. How's it going, man? Thanks for joining. Yeah, the stream has uh, really become a very fun thing. We're getting a pretty consistent audience of between about 50 and 75, which uh, is actually quite good. It's a very young channel. and It's a very kind of odd hobby. Pokemon cards, it's not like super duper mainstream at the moment. What's good in Guardians Rising? Guardians Rising can give you a Sylveon. It can give you Solgaleo. It can give you a low in Ninetales. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's others. Sonicu says, my first stream too. Glad to see I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, uh, if you have just joined, these are some of the cards I pulled last night with my uh, other viewers on the on the channel. We were opening these packs together. These were some of my pulls. I just like the sound of your voice. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's either you gotta say no homo, or else it's homo, super homo. I'm gonna move this over here. Keep this separated. Actually, I think I can put these up here, right? Yeah, I can. Super duper homo. Hey, master. How much are the Guardian Rising? Hi, Miguel. So the Guardian Rising are, you get five booster packs for $20. Yeah, it's five for 20. Got any more vintage packs to open? Yeah, great question. I do. Uh, we were doing a really great price last night on the, where were they? On the Neo Discovery packs. Right now, I do have fossil packs that I'm selling at kind of a steeper $100. So I'm not really trying to sell through these too fast. No bulk, <laughs> no bulk Guardians Rising. Let's get it. Who, who was that? That was Chief Buffalo. Let's do it. Chief Buffalo. Good luck. So this is going to be Guardians Rising. Yeah, specifically, if you want to see it. Oh, is this not that pile? It's the other pile then. Give me a second. Uh, I got a lot of cards. Hey, mister. I'm going to show you the Sylveon. That could be in Gar Guardian Rising if you get lucky. Of course, there's many other cards, so it's all about luck. That's the fun of opening booster packs. It's all, it's all chance. It's a game of chance. Hey, mister. Oh, here we are. Okay, they are down here. Espeon. Here it is, Sylveon. See, it says up here, Guardians Rising. And that's why I bought some Guardian Risings for everyone, because I wanted them, everyone to have a chance at the Sylveon card. It's that beautiful sound of the packs flapping into each other like pancakes. To be completely honest, this guy may as well be my favorite YouTuber because he likes both Pokemon and Monster Hunter. Pokemon cards and Monster Hunter. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's a very specific niche. Somebody joked, uh, when I'm not hunting monsters, I'm catching them, right? <laughs> Don't forget my cards for crating. Oh, grading. Thank you. Strato, you're right. We'll get you just after this, Strato. I apologize for that. Also, somebody bought a, uh, a big lotto ticket, so I got to do that for Imposter Gary Oak. All right? I'm easy to, easy to distract. Snow Runt, Cast Form, Vanillite, Murkrow, Saladit, Aqua Patch, and Victory Bell. All right? Next set. I'm like, my brain's still like transitioning from Monster Hunter to Pokemon cards. It's, it's, it's very, it's like quite a jolt to jump from one to the other because they're so different from each other. Lunala looking very good. Place that right there. It's a big, it's a big jolt. Like my brain will still be thinking about ideas from the other channel or like things I wanted to say while we're still doing this. Kablissi. Big Lotto. Sounds good. Glide Square, Nose Pass, Talo, Rock Rough, Gumi, Slowpoke, Clefable, and Alolan Sand Slash. Last pack? Maybe we'll have a little bit of last pack luck. Let's find out. Aqua Patch, Fletchling, Petalil, Beldoom, Slowpoke. Oh, okay, we do. Turdinator. Ah, oh, man. Turdinator, he's. He's a turd. <laughs> you did pick up a GX card. Congratulations on that. Move these commas out of the way. Yeah, I know. I think the, the amount of energy you have to expend to just keep going. And it's like my brain's always running. So that was for Chief Buffalo. Actually, I think I had a pack for you over here somewhere, Chief Buffalo. You can just add them to that pack. McMun. No, that's Casey. I know you were just over here. Oh God. It is definitely time to do some shipping. <laughs> you know what's happening is where the community on this channel is growing. And so there's so many people, different people buying the cards that there's like a bazillion bags now. Here you go, Chief. Fossil pet, let's see if I pull another Yanma from here magically. <laughs> European on again, please. For sure, man. For sure. So, 
Let me catch up with everything that happened in the channel. We need to get Stratosphere. He says, Neo grading, please use my one free grading. So let's find Stratosphere. He must be on the table. Here you are, Strato. Kabutops, Ursaring, Wobbuffet, and Fortress. Okay, so you had four cards. So, and when they say grading, what they're referring to is this. This is a graded card. So this plastic case is a card that's been graded by a professional company. This is a publicly traded company called PSA. And they give the card a grade. See, so that's a nine, also known as mint. Uh, they give it a number in their database that also tells you how young the card is. So this card was graded a little while ago. It gives you a description, 2004, Pokemon, Dark Houndoom, Reverse Foil, X-Team Rocket Returns. So they're paying for me to send the card off to, the, to PSA to have this grading. It's kind of a pain in the butt to send the card off yourself. It's actually quite a lot of work. You gotta have some know-how, you gotta have the shipping. So they do it. Everyone has the option to have me do it for them. <clears throat> and then uh, we do a, a PSA returns and they're really exciting because we get to see everyone's grades together. So you kind of get to show off a little bit, I guess. You know what I mean? You get to show off your polls. Oh, my card was a 10. Unified Minds. Unified Minds. And some people pull some really hot cards. Really, really hot cards. It's going to be hard to tell. All our destinies apart after grading. No, it won't be because what will happen is uh, only one person will be allowed to send in their Neo Discovery. And what will happen is everyone else will be waiting for their turn to be sent in. So there's actually a waiting list to just be sent off. It's crazy as that sounds. But we keep the, the shipments get uh, separated. So we do 4, 40, 40 times 32. Do, uh, did you pay for all four of these or just three of them? Help me out. You said you had one free grading? Oops. Three and a free grading. All right, sounds good. Let's get your name on these. Yeah, so what happens is Mahas Varas will be shipped out in a separate submission. And so because I'm keeping a list of what goes into a submission, we will be able to see which unique cards are in that submission, and we will only send out his cards in that submission. And that is how we will tell whose is whose. It's very important that we don't send out multiples of the same card because sometimes they are very hard to identify. And there's an exception to that. Like if you can really identify whose is whose, because one is like very off center, we might make an exception to get them sent out more efficiently. Emmanuel says, what's the lotto? We got a big lotto for a jungle pack and we have a regular lotto for this Latias and Latios. Uh, it also comes with some booster packs on the back. So let me go ahead and enter you into the grading requests. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna add Stratosphere. I don't have a, I felt like I had an ant on me. Fortress, Neo Discovery, J Japanese. Oops. Then we've got Wobbuffet. Ursaring. And Kabutops. Kabutops. Man, the old Pokemon were so good looking. None of these look like furries. None of them do. They look like mythical creatures, fairy tale creatures, right? Dinosaurs even. This looks kind of like a dinosaur, right? These are so cool. This is actually very creative, Wobbuffet. Look at that. New Pokemon designs are poo-poo, man. Poo-poo. The big stinky. We took care of Stratos gratings. After Strato... Cheese has a pack cut. Imposter Gary Oak wants a big lotto. All right, so where is the big lotto packs? Where did I put it? Here it is. <laughs> I'll be back to the greatness. <laughs> so here we are. Where did my marker go? Here's a second marker. So this will be Imposter Gary Oak. Good luck, man. I think I still also have that Kabutops. Best looking one, in my opinion. For sure, man. Hey, you know, if you got some old Pokemon cards 
and you want to consider having them graded, you can ask me about that. Or if you, you're not really as interested in collecting as much anymore, uh, yeah, I even offer to buy cards sometimes. So let's see, that was Imposter Gary Oak. Chief Buffalo, we opened up his Guardian Rising. And then Miguel says he wants a big lotto as well. Here you go, Miguel. And we are actually going to open up a vintage pack because Miguel bought a fossil pack. How much for the big lotto? Each ticket is $10. You have a 1 in 10 chances of winning. In the future, we might just stick to like a dice roll or something like that. Okay, so Miguel actually orders a fossil pack. Holy. So this is it. This pack is like 24 years old or something, 22 years old. Does it say on the back? 19. Look, at this point, it had only been up to 1996. So these cards are from 1996, guys. It's from before the, the 2000s. That's how old this is. It's incredibly old. It's older than some of you guys watching right now. 24. Here we go. Good luck, Miguel. So the best pulls, Miguel, are going to be Dragonite and uh, Gengar. Now, the worst pulls in this set are going to be... I don't know. What are the worst pulls in the uh, set? Maybe Hitmonlee? I'm trying to think. Hey, Mr. Big Lotto, please. Oh, right. There's there's Fossil uh, Muck and Fossil Magneton. Those might be the least pop popular, okay? So Muck and Magneton. Hey, Mr. Big Lotto. Sounds good, man. Good luck, Miguel. Nobody knows what's in these until they're open. Cross your fingers for Dragonite. Look at that. That's amazing. The back of the card's looking real clean. That's a good sign. Means that your card will be gradable. Here's Recycle. Look at Jigglypuff. She's so sad. Ammonite. Cloyster. <laughs> what does Cloyster make you think of? <laughs> Horsey. Geodude. Arbok. Krabby. Something with energy. <laughs> and Colbat. Let's train a card. Energy search, maybe? All right. And for your rare card, oh, yeah, you're having a good day today, Miguel, because you just pulled Fossil Dragonite. This is the best card you're going to pull out of the Fossil set. Damn. And if you look, he, he appears to be pretty well centered as well. You could very likely grade this card. Man, nice pull. <laughs> very nice. That's the card I would want to pull if I was opening the, the cards right now. Very cool, man. Let's see. Makes up a little bit because you only pulled the Yanma yesterday. Uh, but today you pulled Dragonite. <laughs> hey, TCC, what I miss? You just missed this pull. Miguel just pulled Dragonite. Would you say I grade it? Yeah, I'd probably grade it if I was you. Uh, you don't have to. You can save it at home and grade it another day if you don't have the money. Uh, but uh, if you want to grade it, it will be $18. And it will take a long time, okay? It'll take like maybe five months even before the card really returns so you will have to keep in touch with me for a long time grading takes forever because psa is super backed up i guess just the way it is move that over there super cool miguel pulling the dragonite and then miss Mossit says unified minds let's get these unified minds open then where am i unified do i need a fresh pack I actually have like a bazillion Unified Minds. I bought so many of them. Here's a box. Hold on. I'll scoop back here. I bought a bazillion Unified Minds, man. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was out of my mind. Hi, I'm the Game Economist, and this is my Pokemon card store. <laughs> This is my online Pokemon card store. There we go. Did I miss any hot pulls? Miguel just pulled Dragonite from Fossil. Look at that. Yep, Miguel just pulled Dragonite. You did miss a hot pull. Very hot. Spicy hot. But mwah. Super duper hot. All right. So, Uda Five Minds. Nice, Miguel sending it out too. Grade, please. Would a weekly check-in be sufficient? 
a weekly check-in. Uh, Miguel, you can, you you don't have to like talk to me every week. All I'm saying is that it will be a long time before he comes uh, comes back from PSA. It will be a very long time. It'll probably be like four months, maybe five months. Uh, I currently have cards out with PSA where they have been gone for a total of four months and they have not returned yet. They still have not returned. So, and it's because PSA is so popular that they cannot keep up with demand, but then they also got shut down because California told them to close because they weren't essential. So they are super backed up. Fletcher, Duras, Nova, Caracosta, and Latias. Next pack, what do we got? So in this set, we're looking for a number of great cards. There's actually a secret rare Dragonite in this set. There's a secret rare Mewtwo and Mew, which is the best pull. And there's a secret rare Tyranitar in this set. Frostlast Toxapic. What else is in this set? There's some cards that aren't so crazy. Uh, that's how it is for every set. It's like you can get a secret rare that's not so exciting. Weakness Guard, Dwebble, Pidove, Muna, Pikachu, Lickitung, Noibat, Escavalier. So this is from a fresh boost box. Could anything could happen here? Anything at all. Cherish Ball is a good pull. Oh, right. This has Misty's Favor in it. Don't forget about Misty's Favor. She's probably one of the most popular girls in the Pokemon series. So having a Misty's Favors card is probably going to be a very hot pull. And it probably stay that way over time. Here we go. Let's see what you got. You got Jinx, Dragonair, Delmise, Numol, Tynemo, Poipul, Snowrun, Drillbur, Tauros. Oh, nice. Here you go. Umbreon and Darkrai. All right. There you go. So you do end up with the hit pull. Throw these cards in with it if you want. I don't really mind. And this was for whom? It was for Mossit. Mossit, where are you? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I think you're on the table. Pretty sure you are. I think you were the one who won. Yeah. So you won this guy back here. And we're going to throw these in with him. There we go. Paid for bulk, right? Did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me give you all the bulk. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> There's all your bulk. I, I really, I apologize. If I do something wrong, guys, just let me know. It's a highly detailed job. It's a lot of small details to notice. There you go. No problem at all. Got all your bulk right there. So we missed, uh, what did we miss? No, we didn't miss anything. Dokuro Dill was next with a, a big lotto ticket. Dokuro, we'll just leave it at that. Hey, mister, any loot bags? We got, we got loot boxes. We got loot repacks. TCC on e I saw on eBay, Hollow Umbreon, plus 90 shipping because it's from Japan. Do you think it's worth it? To tell you the truth, comic, I think it is. Because what will happen is I think that many of the Neo Discovery cards uh, for J the Japanese version of them have not appreciated in value the same way the English cards have. And this is because people forget that there's a, a, you know, there's a Japanese version of the card to go after. People forget about that. They go after the English first and the English price kind of goes up like that, just kind of go whoop. Uh, and the Japanese kind of lag behind, but when people go, oh yeah, there's Japanese cards to buy, what will happen is they'll catch up too. Uh, and so all the people who pull an Espeon, when they actually return like four or five months from now, you will probably see the price on the Espeon maybe even double. Who knows? Maybe even double. That's why I'm expecting. I've already seen it happen. Uh, you know, uh, when I bought my Blaine's Charizard, he was like $100. He's like $200 now, I think. Well, if you can get him at $200, I'm not even sure you can do that anymore. That was like a few weeks ago. You can get him at $200. So he took care of Dokuro. Miguel, he says, grade, please. Got it. All right. Your card is getting graded. Wow, what a nice card. Yeah, this was a great pull, man. I've got cards that, like, tripled in value in the last nine months. Can you believe that? What is that with this? This is like really stiff. Yeah, I got cards that tripled in value in the last nine months. I'm a bit salty watching this. I still remember my first edition, Hollow Charizard, mysteriously disappearing one time after a visit from some friends as if... Aw, oh, dude. They're not friends if you're, they're stealing your Charizard. Those are not friends. 
Those are criminals. <laughs> they just they just smile and want you to think that they're your friend. Criminals don't steal your first edition Charizard. No, I'm sorry. Cr uh, friends don't steal your first edition Charizard. Criminals do. That's what I mean to say. So let's jump back over here. We're going to jump to PSA requests. We're going to have Miguel. And it's going to say uh, Dragonite. Fossil. Japanese. You're in, Miguel. So you can go to the Discord server to the channel called PSA requests. And I have your your card listed there. Such a lonely day shouldn't exist. It's day that I'll never miss such a lonely day. And it's <laughs> mine the most loneliest day of my life. And if you go, I want to go with you. And if you die, I Is that Green Day? With you. <laughs> I don't remember who that is. It, it's very familiar. I don't remember that one. <laughs> I think it might be Green Day. <laughs> I lost my friends because my cards were 10 times better than theirs. But what can I say? It's pay to win. It, system of a down. There you go. Right. System of a down. I think I was thinking of um, Green Day has that one. Lonely Road or something like that. A lonely Road. Do, 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 something like that. How many of these Big Lottos we got left? We got five energies left for Big Lotto and Big Lotto starts. Can we see the list for available packs? Yes. I mean, no. You're not allowed to. That's strictly forbidden. This is not halal. Man, that's such a hot pull. What are some of the best pulls we've had? Take a look at this, guys. So if you guys are new to this live stream, check this out. This was Sora not too long ago. Some hot chase pull. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, yeah. Some hot pulls over here. Woo! Holy schmecks. Holy schmoles. So here's what we have for the modern cards. Strictly forbidden to pay the right price for this stuff. What? Unified Minds, Sword and Shield, Guardian Rising. So what this says is no bulk. So these are the prices with no bulk. 5 for 20, 5 for 20, 5 for 20, 5 for 22, 5 for 28, 5 for 25, 8. If you want the bulk, it's a little, little more expensive. You pay for the extra shipping. But I give you the important cards out of, the, Big out of your pulls. Big Lotto says, Justin. How's it going, Justin? Justin's trying his luck. How's it going, man? We're getting rid of the lotto, by the way. We're not going to be doing it in the future anymore. I don't want to break any rules. We'll probably have some games still that we can play, but we'll probably have to give them, like, a new name. And uh, we probably won't use lotto tickets or the drum or something like that. Who knows? There you go, Justin. But we had some that were already going, so we're going to finish them off. Yeah, there's so much money going around on this channel. I'm like, Jesus like we probably shouldn't keep doing this so it sounds like we're ready for me to open up my first piece of mail oh this is my favorite part of the live stream so i get mail no i did not get in any kind of trouble uh i don't i don't even know if i would get in trouble somebody has told me that what i do would not get me in trouble sword and shield base please but it, you know i just i just don't want to you know, I don't want to be a casino, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, what is this? Wow, that arrived fast. Is this Neo Genesis? What? Oh, I like the way this guy shipped it. He even used a card saver to make the pack as flat as possible. Wow, that's almost like we got Neo Genesis in. Beautiful packs. Neo Genesis. Doku Dr Dill says Sword and Shield base set. Let's get some Sword and Shield running. Three, four, and five. That reminds me of my first pack. A friend gave me my first pack in the mid-90s, and when I opened it, it also had a Zard. He traded me real fast before I knew the value. <laughs> oh, uh, that card you got? Uh, here, I can trade you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I kind of had that happen too. There was a, uh, they didn't trade. It was, I was the one kind of taking the card. I was on the taking side. Whoa, Beck's ready to end the lotto. Four big lotto. Beck going deep. Good luck, Beck. He's like, yeah, everyone over here. Just buying one ticket at a time. All right, nice. 
two, three, four. He had a Shining Kabutops. His name was uh, Vincent. And he was a good friend of mine when we were younger. You got Indeedy. Let's leave that up. And he was always, uh, I think he was just wealthier than I was. I had 11 siblings, so we were always poor. And I think when he wanted Pokemon cards, his parents just bought him Pokemon cards. So I never I never knew how to feel that way. Like somebody could just buy you what you want, you know what I mean? So he, he when, we, when it came to trading, I was always trying my hardest to get a good trade. And then he was always, uh, he just didn't care. He said, like, wait, I got plenty of cards to trade. <laughs> so, you know, he would give me some really nice trades sometimes. And one of the best trades he made with me in terms of me picking up a cool card was, uh, I don't remember what I even gave him. It must not have been anything I cared about. Uh, he traded me a Shining Kabutops, and I was like, wow. Bolton Santa Cobra. How's it going, Gessie? Shining Kabutops, and that's all gone now. God, I'd love to have my old folder. Farming for the new du Dual Blades. Nice, man. Comments are spicy tonight. TCC, I want to mail you a taco. You want to mail me a taco? <laughs> you got another V card. So, no full arts. Two V cards. Seems about right. <laughs> Justin says, did I put an ID's comment and comments in my, in my bag? Now, are you referring to this? Is this what you're referring to? This is a very large pack of Gym 2 Pokemon cards, it looks like. Is this what you're referring to? Take a look at it. I don't want to do any mix-ups. See? I can't remember if that's what you're actually referring to. The lotto he won all the Japanese. I, I don't know what you mean, Justin. That happened like a week ago. You get, I just got to know if that's the one, because I don't know otherwise. You guys are the ones doing the trade. You should know. So are you saying this is not the right one? Here, I'll place it to the side for now. All right. That's for Doku Doku Dill. He says, I believe so. What? <laughs> you guys got to know what it is because I don't want to accidentally send you the wrong cards. It's much easier for me to not ship them than for me to ship the wrong cards out and then for us to all go through like three fixes. So check with Nighty to make sure it's the right one or... Right, Dokuru. Dokuru. Dill. Nice. Hey, that's like your first time buying cards on this set, on this uh, channel. Very cool, man. Beck's going deep on the big lotto. Hey, mister, how much for Genesis? How much for Genesis? Well, would you guys do 80 for Genesis? I'm thinking of doing 80 on Genesis. I don't have an, an enormous amount of Genesis. Uh, I have a very limited amount of Genesis. So we've got only four packs of Genesis, and I would do 80 on them. Which is actually only two dollars more than what I was charging last night, guys. It's not really that different. Pretty much the same price. Seventy-eight is a psychological price. The uh, the fact that it still says seven makes it seem cheaper. It's not really that much cheaper. What's my favorite food? King crab leg. Followed by your grills tacos. How many more Lotto One tickets do we have? A lot. Nobody's really bought lot. No, somebody bought Lotto One tickets. Never mind. Yeah, somebody's bought some. All right, and actually, I don't need the drum for this one. Oops, hold on. There we go. Doku, Dokuro. Nice. Genesis, please. Sounds good. All right, here we go. Let's find out who won. We'll do everything in order. We're doing the, the big lotto first. How's it going, Nighty? Let's 
Let's get to Genesis, Mister. Hey, Mister. Sounds good, Mahasvara. That means there's one pack left. All right. So. This is going to be the winner's ticket, and the winner had an electric energy card. If you had an electric energy card, then you are the winner of the big lotto. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It is Beck. <laughs> Beck Bop, he went deep, and it, it paid off this time. You know, if he had lost, though, he would have lost much more than you guys. He would have lost $40. So it's a risky... Where'd it go? There was a little baggie with it. It's a risky play. Here it is. So this is yours, Beck. So Beck, when it comes to these lottos, we do not allow you to save the pack. It does have to be open because that's part of the fun. Let's find out what you got. Look at 90's Comet. I will look at it. Give me a minute. Let's find out what you get, Beck. When is your new Charizard going to come in? Yeah, I don't know. Probably soon. Probably in the next few days. Nadi says, how much are those packs? The jungle packs are currently $100. I think the jungle packs are classic, uh, and they will easily maintain a very high value. Executor. In fact, I'm almost certain if you grade a, 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 if you grade a jungle pack and it gets a 10, I'm pretty sure its price will be around $250 after the grading. Mankey, Rhyhorn, Spiro, Meowth, and Pikachu. Looking very cute. Are there near? Yes, there are ne ne uh, not Nero Neo packs. There are Neo packs. There's a single Neo pack left for eighty dollars. What's your favorite Pokemon card? I have right now. Um, my favorite Pokemon card. That's a great question. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to see this? You guys ready? Beck just pulled Snorlax, the chase card from Jungle. You see this? We got the chase card from Fossil, and we just got the chase card from Jungle. Great pulls today, guys. Beck's like, yes! <laughs> Good game. That's right. <laughs> Good game. Congratulations, Beck. You didn't even pay that much for it. <laughs> well, of course, you won a game of chance, so that was part of it. Wow. Talk about a double win right there. Wait a second. You got a bag. You're on the table somewhere. Beck's like, woohoo! We got Temlet, SS Derp. Strato, oh my god, we got a million cards on this table right now. Beck, I know you're on this table. Where are you at, Beck? You hiding? That's Weekend Wolf. Hamlet again. Aaron way in the back. Huh, maybe I'll put Beck off to the side. Well, I tell you what, Beck, I'm going to give you a brand new pack. Ba brand new bag. Doesn't matter. Near the back left center. That's what I thought, too. I thought it was back here. That's why I looked there first. It's the last time I saw you. There's Justin, SS Derp, Temlin, Strato. Maybe you're not behind that, right? No, you're not behind that. I'm just mixing the cards all up at this point. We're just going to give you a new bag. <laughs> Neo then sleep purchase also. The lotto I won with all the rocket commons and stuff is. All the rocket commons. So the, the problem is I have so many cards on the table, I will not be able to make this trade until uh, I actually do the shipping. Okay, that's the only point I'll be able to do it. There's there's simply too many cards. Uh, I'm not going to like go fishing for the cards. This is a problem we've had in the past before. Before we started doing the bulk list, people would ask for trades, and the problem is there were so many cards I couldn't find what you were looking for. So I'll try to get it done uh, during the shipping process. Okay. So Beck finished with pulling himself a Jungle Snorlax, and then Dokuro Dill says, Genesis, please. All right, we're opening up something we've never opened on this channel. This is another Neo set. This is the Neo Genesis. There's actually the starters in it, Typhlosions in it, for alligators in it, Meganiums in it, and there's Lugias in it as well, I believe. And honestly, it has been so long since I pulled this set. I do not know what the very best pulls are, but it's, it's going to be fun, guys. Find out what you get. I like the way he packed these. He did a good job. For sale in Japan only. Hey, we got a donation. Zachariah the Messiah says, I tried donating on Streamlabs, but it won't take my card. So I'm sorry. I meant to donate uh, in your Monster Hunter stream, but I ended up busy. Would you help me grind up to Master Rank 200 tonight or tomorrow? And that's from Zachariah the Messiah. Uh, Zach, 
Unfortunately, tonight in particular, I'll be extremely busy doing shipping, uh, but we can try to we can try to uh, do a stream together for sure. Can you send me a message on Discord so I can get an impression of uh, where you're at in the game and what console you're on and all that stuff, and maybe like what time you're available? I can try to do something like that. Why not? For sure, man. All right, let's get this pack open. Are you ready? Dakura, Dakura Dill. Dakuro Dill. Terrible with the saying your name. I apologize. There it is. It is open. It survived 20 years until this day. Well, the back of the card's looking... Oh, actually, the back of the card's not clean. That's a pity, man. So on this card, you can see it's got this weird... Edge. I've actually seen this on other Pokemon cards. This is going to be like a printing error. See that? That's going to be a printing error. You can tell because of this line right here. Darn. It could still be a really nice card. Let's see what it is. So we've got, what is this, like Pokemon Navigator? Here's Onyx, Lantern, Azumarill? No, Meryl, right? Horsey, Bellsprout Tower. I can't remember. That's Berry something. Hoot Hoot and Granbull. Man, yeah, that's, that's kind of like getting a print line, unfortunately. Put this up here. And what do we have? Oh, it's going to be metal energy. <laughs> Tough luck, man. <laughs> All right, so we pull a metal energy on the first pack. Still very cool. Let's fold this up. Ah, that one's tough. I, I apologize for that, man. Sometimes you get very tough luck. He says, boo. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit like a gamble, isn't it? Pokemon cards, the original gamble. Wait, Dakura already had it back, did he not? Yes. Maybe I should get Quip to come over here and do all the openings. No? You resting today? Oh, you got a headache. That sucks. How's it going, Platypus? He says, my first time in this channel, I see this. Incredible. Yeah, man, check out this table. Check out this table. This is my at-home table. That's a full table, dude. Zachariah says, more money because I love your content. I'm on PS4, and I'm pretty much free all day. I don't really get to play in your streams, so I want to spend my day grinding up. Sounds good, man. Maybe we'll put together, like, a really good team, and the rule will just be that we're in the same session, to, or the same quest together each time. Get quipped to blow on my packs. <laughs> nah, you have to pay extra for that, Mosfire. What are you talking about? Think Quip just blows on packs for free? Nah. -uh. Put this over here. We can reuse that in the future. All right, here we go. So these are for Mosfire. <laughs> Mosfire goes oof. <laughs> open as well all right two packs of neogenesis hopefully a little bit better luck if it has the same error on the back of the card let me know if you want to cut the second one open okay or if you want to keep it sealed hopefully it was a one-time error on that metal energy so metal energy is one of the poles in this set and is probably considered one of the weaker poles in this set because it's not a Pokemon. People go crazy for the Pokemans. Here we go. Shuckle. I like Shuckle. Uh, Fanfy? Fanny? Pamphy? I can't remember his name. Snubble. I don't remember that one. Or this one. Trainer card, Mantine. Some sort of fishing rod. And some sort of bill card. <laughs> oh, man. There's so many cards from this set, I don't remember them. You know, actually, I kind of slowed down on my collecting around the Neo uh, time Neo set came out as well, but I wasn't fully done. And what do we have? Oh, nice. So your pull, first of all, let's take a look at the card. So it doesn't have the same error on the back. That's good. And your pull is going to be the Meganium. Nice. <laughs> so we pulled the Meganium, guys. All right. Very cool. A lot of cool pulls today. We got Dragonite, we got Snorlax, we got Meganium. He says it bad. <laughs> what? Wait, did you see something I didn't? Oh, not bad. <laughs> How's it going, Rules? All right, here we go. This is Mahasvara's second pack. Let's see what you got. Is 
It's Long Neck Venador. I know, right? <laughs> Donphan? Sudowoodo. I don't remember his name. Manaphy? Hopefully Steelix or Skarmory. Here's Natu. Give you a good handy. Slowpoke. Whooper. And another Bill. Well, it says Steelix. <laughs> okay, put that away. And your pull is going to be... Oh, it's even better in my opinion. You pulled the Pichu, dude. Look at that. You got the Neo Genesis Pichu. Such a cute card. Wow. So Pichu and Meganium. Not bad. All right. Put this over here. Look at that. Pichu! Pichu a little bit relevant again after they re-added him back to uh, Smash Brothers, huh? Okay, and then after Mahasvara, Nighty actually purchased the last pack. Good luck, Nighty. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, yes. Neo Genesis from Pokemon Gold, Gold Silver back when the game was still really fun. <laughs> Mr. Chan. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mr., you got any of those co codes? Where are the code cards? Do you do giveaways? Hey, Mr., do you do giveaways? Hey, Mr. You got any Pokemans? I'm looking for some Pokemans, Mr. What do we got? We have the Lotto <laughs> Mantine. Maryp. Flaffy? I think it's Flaffy, right? Mary Flaffy Ampharos. What berry is that? I don't remember. More trainer cards. Whooper. And another bill. Hey, mister, can I have free cards and coats, please? Mister, do give away. Do give away. All right, put this in here. And nice, another Pichu, a second Pichu. So Nighty and Mahasvara pick up a Pichu. Sweet. Not bad. Grab another one of these bags. Oh, it's all falling apart. Actually, let me just throw all this away. There's too much plastic on my table. What do I do with all this plastic? Wow, so that was fast. All the Neo Genesis is gone. That was fast. That was pretty fast. Throw all that away. Here we are. That was a little bit quick. What's the chase card in this set? Probably the Lugia? What do you guys think is the chase card? Does vintage just mean old? Yeah, something like that. That's a that's a fair thing to say. Yeah, vintage does mean old. Wow, wow we Lugia is the chase card, says Imposter Gary Oak. Mosvar says Lugia or Typhlosion. Nice. So I got another piece of mail. Let's see what we got here. From Nolan. I think I can cut the top. Did I get any more Shining Legends? Yes, we got more Shining Legends. Whoa. Mr. Grade my holos. Your holos? I'm going to grade his holos. You're not going to stop me. Hey, mister. Mister, you grade my holos. Mazvara always grades. I'm just going to start putting your cards into a top, a card saver right off the bat. Here we are. We have the Meganium. And Zachariah the Messiah. Thanks for those donations, man. Pichu. Pichu! Maha and Maha. You play Super Smash Brothers? I used to play so much Super Smash Brothers. I actually won a Super Smash tournament at college. Yeah, I used to be real good. 
but I, I haven't played it in a while. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter. So let's go ahead and update Mahasfara. We're going to add Neo Genesis Pichu and Neo Genesis Meganium. There you go. You're in. Hey, Master. Got any more of those Neo Genesis? So those are all sold. Uh, and I was going to... Oh, wait. Was there another purchase? No, that was uh, Mahasvara having it graded. Right. All right. Beck pulling the Snorlax today. Miguel pulling the Dragonite today. It's a cool day, man. What is this? Oh, I gotcha. Okay. A little invoice. Enjoy and good luck if you open. Thanks. Take care. How do I open this? <laughs> I think I'm smart enough to figure out how to open this. I'm a caveman. We're not cavemen, SpongeBob. We have technology. Okay. Doing their best to protect the cards inside. I respect that. Oh, these are really flimsy feeling. What the heck? You know what? I'm just going to trash these. All this plastic can go in some kind of landfill somewhere. Oh my god. My dear god. It's like breaking into a fortress over here. Where did he put these in? What, what am I looking at? There we go. What the hell? I've never seen this. This is like a booster pack holder, whatever this is. I've never seen one of those. Is that a booster pack holder? Like glued on the inside? Oh, it's like reverse taped on the inside. What is this used for? Booster packs? Ah, I guess it's for booster packs. Whoa. I didn't know you could do these. Really weird. I don't even know if I want to save that. All right, all that for one pack of Japanese jungle. Cool. Next box. 100 point card holder. Kitty meow. Toss that off for a little. <laughs> That's right, I got a knife. <laughs> That's going to be a PSA card. Let's see what I ordered. Are you guys ever curious what, what I spend my money on? Here we go. Oh, cool. Yeah. Codes. How's it going, G-Man, sis? Here we go. Check this out. Bam. It's going to be the Black Star Hollow Mew. Recently graded, too. Four or five. Recently graded Mew. Zachariah, hey, Mister, last donor for the night. You'll be getting a dollar for every level I get. What? For every death I get? Oh, no. So after I learned that... Thank you so much, man. That's really generous of you. Uh, with Mew, what I learned is that 
this dark this black star promo was actually in the japanese set he was actually part of the fossil set when i learned that i'm like oh my god i want one now so i went off and i bought one <laughs> that was a little while ago so picking up my black star promo mew hollow mew the old vintage cards look at it so that was actually from the year 2000 so that's 20 years old just some old pokemans having a quick drink what do we got next Yeah, it's true. Those super chests, I'm telling you, they take 30%. 30% is actually a lot of your money. Dear Derek, thanks again for the purchase. Stay well. Sincerely, Scott. <laughs> I bought from him before. I recognized his uh, signature. Oops. Whoops. Come on. Don't fall down. There we go. Oh, okay. It is a single pack of jungle. <laughs> Woo! Getting those jungle packs, guys. One more. It's your boy, Scott. So this one's from Sean. And it's a two-day priority mail package. It's kind of too big for me to open. Uh, G rising again. G rising again. Let's take care of that first. Good luck, Chief Buffalo. About to pull that Sylvie on. I can feel it. Today's the day. Good luck, man. Four, five. Pack number one. Let's see what you got. Oh, and what do you... Okay, yeah, one, two, three, four. He says another Turbinator. <laughs> I am the Turbinator. <laughs> Graveler and Lunala. Put that cool little Graveler to the side. What do you guys think? Should we play a little Das Boot today? We got Energy Recycle, Tanacruel, Choice Band, Tanacruel, Clefairy, Barboach, Carvana, Fletchling, Mudsdale, and Turdinator. There's that Turdinator. What do we got here? The Boot is Das Boot. Pat Rat, Litwick, Pancham, Delmize, and Hollow Machamp. Wow, that's exactly what I want for my white back cards. My white back code cards. We got Graveler, Sudowoodo, Rescue Stretcher, Trubbish, Jango, O, Wimpod, Gumi, Wishy Washy, Malo, Hots, and Oracorio. Last pack, maybe some last pack luck like last time. Remember that? Last time you pulled Turdinator on the last card. Oops, had a little Beldum, Vulpix, Slowpoke, Salandit, and wow, Tapu Lele. It's Pupu Lele. You got a, you got the, you got all the good cards, man. You got the Pupu Lele. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, man. <laughs> I just like making fun of these. Oh, here we are. You know what I should do? I should like scream when somebody pulls a really good card. Oh my, oh my God! <laughs> I can't believe it. I've opened a million of these, but I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move that a little bit. Do I need sound effects? That's a good idea. <laughs> like a sound effect board. All right, here we go. This is kind of heavy. What the heck could this be? Oh, probably something valuable if I had to guess. I don't usually buy stuff this heavily. It's that heavy. Doku. Free shining legend, please. Alright, we're gonna take care of you in a moment, Doku. We're already so deep into this. We're gonna finish this off first. What is going on here? What is going on here? Oh my god, I can't believe it! I I can't believe it! 
It's blowing my mind. I'm uh, uh, uh. You pull a card so good, you just die right on the spot from astonishment. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Like five bazillion Neo Discovery. <laughs> It's almost like I anticipated selling out a Neo, so I bought some extra Neo. It's almost like that thing. All right. And we are back back up and stocked up on Neo. Do I spot a cut finger? That's right. I got all all cuts all day. I'm like I'm like cheese over here cutting packs, but in a healthy way. <laughs> Mmm. Ooh, hot mama, sweet baby. Uh, the Neo packs will also be seventy-eight dollars. Hey, let's just call them eighty, cause that's what it is. They're gonna be eighty bucks, guys. That's what they were going for last night. I'll open the first one so I can finish my Neo Neo Destiny collection. I got packs, so I don't cut my wrists. That's right. <laughs> don't make me do it. I meant four packs, not three. Sorry. Sounds good. Yep, that's right. You would deserve four packs. All right, so we already know what the common and uncommon cards in this set are. They're all basically the same. Put this away. I don't think we need to look at those anymore. But let's see what the pull is. Oh my god, did that just happen? I just pulled another one. Mary's going to hate me. Oh my god. All right, guys, was well, hunting season. <laughs> we got the espions. That's a really nice swirl on that one. I might have to charge an extra dollar for that. <laughs> J-Man's like, wow. I wish it was the Umbreon. I bet you there's some Umbreons in there. I'm not gonna lie. I might have a, I might have a hard peepee -pee when I see these Umbreons. All right. So I know these are pretty pricey, and I probably drained you guys all out. With these vintage booster packs, booster picks. Feel free to refrain from buying them, but I tell you what, why don't we go ahead and we're going to dice one of these off like we were doing last night, if anyone wants to play some dice. Give them to my cats. Well, hold on. Okay, let's open an Umbreon now. Sounds good, man. Okay, let's open an Umbreon now. Time to open them. Time to op in them. I'm in. Umbreon, here we come. Here we see you am. We are about to come so fast. Oh, this is easy. Easy Mahasvara. Easy Umbreon pull right here. I can feel it. I've got Umbreon fever. It'll take an EO. Guess I am going deep now. An EO? What's an EO? Easy Umbreon here. Are you ready, Mahasvara? Easy mode activated. All right. There we go. Here we go. Pack number two was Scyther. All right. Not a loss. Let's try the next one. The first pack was Ah Yanma. <laughs> so I don't think you had this one, though. Uh, so now you have Yanma in your collection. You needed the Yanma. Uh, and the other one's not a terrible pull. Scyther's pretty popular. Okay, but no Umbreon. Unacceptable. Somebody's trying to pull a fast one on me. I feel it. They're trying to pull a fast one on me. All right, here you go. So you do not need Yanma twice. I'll say that. I'm going to put this Mew away. It's kind of in the way. Oh, did you guys see this? This is the card from, like, yesterday. This is my new Shining Charizard. Woo! I'm super happy to have this. This is my most expensive card. He might be worth about 7K. He's a, he's a smancy one. He's a smexy one. All right, we'll move that out of the way. Thank you, Beebeck. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. All right, so let's get this done. We got Chief Buffaloes going deep. Good luck, Chief Buffalo. I could show off the common and commons, but we looked at them all last night. 
So we had a chunk of these the Neo Discovery packs last night, and we pulled out five sil not not two, five espions, five of them. Count them: one, two, three, four, five. So it is quite possible for a set to have multiple of any of the good cards you want in it. In fact, it is very likely that it does have multiples. What'd you get? What do you get? Waba Fett. Hey, you got a nice little swirl next to the Waba Fett head too. Nice. Waba Fett. Very cool. Not an Umbreon though. What? Chief, that's not an Umbreon. Do you want me to send it back? Tell them you want to return. Uh, that's not the card I want. Can I return this? <laughs> Beck says, Law, what did I win? What? Do I open another one now? Is that how this works? <laughs> okay, so uh, you know what? Where to go? Uh, right here it is. So we were going to dice one of these off. Cuts packs for a half hour with scissors. Can't get either. Can you only get Umbreon and Espeon in these packs as their Gen 2? Uh, good question. I do not know. Oh, uh, let's see. What's 80 divided by 6? Okay, let's open two more. Yeah, okay, so it's still 14. All right, we're playing a dice game. It's $14 to enter. You have one in six odds of winning, and then we roll a dice. The winner gets this guy right here. $14 to enter. You have one in six odds. Those are quite small odds. They're quite good is what I mean. One in six odds. Mazvar is going super deep. Here we go. Mazvar, I swear to God. It's going to be Umbreon and Espeon right here. How's it going, Fish Fish Fisherson? Fish Fisherson. Fish Fisherson. That's 90. Five. 90 wants the number five. He says, let's hope. <laughs> Come on, Umbreon. We need an Umbreon. I'm in. John McMunn is in. All right, set these to the side. Here we go. Pack number two was what? <laughs> Waba Fett. Yeah, another Waba Fett with exactly the same swirl. And, oh man. Number three. I wonder if this could be. <gasps> Umbreon, you did it. <laughs> you did it, Mahazavara. You can finally rest easy knowing that you're, uh, you're, you're, Collection is complete. <laughs> Waba Fett. There we go. There's the Umbreon. And let's look the card over a little bit. Four. He looks very clean. All right. Perfect. I would hate it if it had, like, damage on it, like that Tyranitar I got had. Wasn't that sad? So I'll place these in here for now, even though I secretly know that you'll probably be like, go ahead and grade those. And I'll be like, all right, your wish is my command. Sweet. Mary's not here. Mary's not here to pull that Umbreon. Okay, so 90 gets number five. Give me a second. We're going to write names. John McMunn. We're going to say McMunn up top. Mick, because he didn't call a number. McMunn up top. We got Emmanuel, once number three. I'm going to call him Emma. That's his sex change name. Doku wants four. Doku row. Which leaves two spots open for the dice roll if anyone wants to play. Did I miss anyone? Nope. It's the Das Boot game. See? Das Boot. Grade them hollows, mister. Hey, mister. Grade them hollows, mister. Hey, mister. You got any more of them uh, graded hollows? Hey, mister. How's it going, Gerson? It's Gerson. Gerson has returned. Look at this beautiful card, Gerson. We pulled this just for you, just for when you would return. Das Boot. Who will win Das Boot? 
here, so I was like, woohoo! <laughs> Alright, there we go. I do my very best not to put any pressure on the card. We got Wobba Fett. Wobba Fett. Oh, come on. These these particular card savers don't want to... There you go. I don't know what the deal is with them. <laughs> Codes for Umbreon. What? Codes! Somebody just pops in. They don't say anything else. They don't say hi. They don't say, what are we up to over here? They don't say, I love your content. They just go, Codes! Give me the codes! I'm here for the codes now! I'm here! I know you were saving them just for me. Codes! It's probably some seven-year-old kid. I swear to God, it's a seven-year-old kid. Pop in the live stream. They're like, I don't even need that. Some card savers got static, so you gotta open them. That's right. Codes! Hello! Uh, my mom said I can't have any, so you're here to give them to me, right? <laughs> the codes are like 25 cents on eBay. You want some codes? Go get some goddamn codes, man. It's always some seven-year-old, I promise. Some five-year-old kid, he's like, where's the codes, man? I was told that there would be codes and chicken nuggies, and they're not here, and I'm not okay with that. It's like my weekly allowance. <laughs> there you go, Mahasvara. Let me update the grading requests as well. Oh, here, let me leave them out on the desk to make this a little easier so I have to do it from memory. Picking up that Umbreon. So wheat. Codes. Watch me upset somebody talking that way. So we're going to get Umbreon Neo Discovery, Japanese. We've got Yanma's a new one for you. Then we have Scyther and Wobbuffet, which you should already have. Yeah, you've got Wobbuffet, so we're going to say two times next to the Wobbuffet. And Scyther is going to say two times as well. All right, perfect. You are updated. Hey, Mister. My mom said you better give me your codes or she's going to teach you a lesson. My dad's going to be up your dad. I swear to God. I swear my mom's tits. Okay, we're still waiting for two more people to join. Uh, I, you guys can play against the house, but you know I'm going to win, right? I always win Dots Boot. Watch this. I'm going to roll a six right now. See? I would have won right there. That would be my pack right now. You guys don't want to play against the house. Okay, two more players. In the meantime, maybe I'll clean up the desk. The house always wins, guys. Guess he's like, do it. <laughs> My dad works at Nintendo. He won't make any more Pokemon cards if you don't give me codes. Ties are loaded. <laughs> I liked what we were doing with the drum, where you could uh, you could actually have the audience pick which card gets pulled. So I liked that. That was fun. If only it wasn't 4 a.m. If only. Host advantage. Let's see if I can roll a two now. You ready? Nah, that's a one. McMunn would have won that one. Ah, there we go. I would have won that one. Nope. That would have been me again. There's a magnet under the... Hey, there we go. There's the two. So far, I'm liking these rolls. Who's going to play Das Boot? You're all scared of Das Boot? Das Booten? Fine, since you're all scared of Dust Boot, I guess I'm going to have to open up another one for me. Codes! Give me the codes, man! Alright, I would love to have... a good pull. <laughs> oh no, we're out of penny sleeves. What did I get? Him on top? Okay, cool. I didn't have a him on top yet. Uh, where is the... There they are. Nope. Oh, what? Okay, I gotta go get some penny sleeves. Give me a minute. Here we go. Hey, Master. My mom said... Okay, right. I got some shining cards to open for him. You are right. Let's get that. Is 5 a.m. here in Spain? Quarantine got my schedule buried underground. 
Yeah. Freaking COVID-19. COVID-19? I blow the wind of God on you. I'm just here to watch people play in the Pokemon Casino. I'm too young to do this kind of stuff. Hey, mister. Hey, mister, roll them dice. <laughs> also, what's the $14 for? Oh, guessy, this is a dice roll called Dust Boot. One person will win. Okay, let's get those. Dakuro Dill, he bought some Shining Legends. We're going to open those Shining Legends for him now. Is that a Pichu? How many Neos do you have now? Uh, the, the Pichus came from Neo Genesis, and we are out of Neo Genesis. We have Neo Discovery still. So we have Neo Discovery. Das DA Boots. Das da Boots is Gessie. Okay, cool. So we need one more person. Gessie, you're going to have two. Good luck, Gessie. <laughs> Here we are. Are you ready to Kuro? Are you ready to pull that test tube Mewtwo? What's that? What is boot? It's dust boot. Do not ask questions. Dust boot. All right. It is filled up. We're ready to play. However, we're going to take a we're going to take care of Dakuro first. You ready? One, two, three, and four. Wait, did I take Gessie's spot? No, you did not. Gessie's right there, and you're down there. You're both on. You made it. Here we go. Let's see what Dakuro pulls. Cross your fingers, Dakuro. Everyone wish him luck. I'll start singing Luck Be a Lady for you. Do, 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 do. Scoop, boop. Minum, Stunfisk, Breloom, Ekans, Palusal, and Verizian. Wow. Next pack. <laughs> Guessy wanted six. Uh, we'll just change it, okay, Guessy? So if it's a if it's a six, it will go to Guessy. If it is a two, we will give it to DL. Zekrom. Pack number three. Come on, where's that hot pack, boy? We want Shining Rayquaza right now. No Shining Rayquaza, we riot. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Does that go This is it. Last pack luck. Last pack luck. Here we come. Here we see you. Here we go. Spiritomb, Pokemon Breeder, Minum, Buzel, Scraggy, Voltor, Ekans, Purloin. You struck out, man. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, man. That is the worst luck I've ever seen. And we're shutting the card. The whole channel's being shut down because that was so rough. I got Zekroms for days. Put these up here. Let's see if I got like a bonus card I can give you. You're new to the channel, aren't you? You're, aren't you new? I think you're new. Don't I have like something I can give away or something? I should have stuff I can give away. I was going to buy some Eevees, but I was too poor. I was going to buy some Eevees, but I was too poor. Here you go, Dakuro. You got Charizard GX now, and that's not the that's not the um, that's not the promo one. That's the one you actually have to pull. Okay, so that's a pulled card. Congratulations on that Charizard! Wow, you did so well. Perfect pull. How did you do that, Dakuro? No problem, man. Enjoy it. Do you like Charizard? All right, so we upgraded you to Charizard. Now it's time to play Dust Boot. Six people, uh, and oh, we're trading Gessie and DL. So, DL, Gessie. All right, I hope you don't mind. The winner is... <laughs> Nighty. Congratulations, Nighty. All right, Nighty, now the rules are we don't play the dice roll without opening the pack. So let's see what you got. 90 just won. Dust boot. Dust boot. Ich liebe dust boot or something like that. Why did I just flip that around? You know why I flipped it around? Because I've lost my mind. Here you go, 90. You're pulling this hot Ursa Ring from Neo Discovery, a card I don't have. What the? You better give it to me, 90, or I'm going to fight you. I'll be like, that's my card. 
Uh, I saw it first. Congratulations. Beautiful card. <laughs> Nighty says, gross. What are you talking about? Earth Ring's awesome. I'll trade you one Wobbuffets. Trade me an Umbreon. All right, we'll put this in here, because apparently this is not the bag that I was supposed to be trading. You could be like Beck. Beck won the uh, big lotto earlier today, and check him out. He pulled a Snorlax. What the hell? Oh, my God. That's a good pull right there. TCC, that's the, that's the bag for Justin. Okay, there we go. The question is answered. That was what I was wondering from before. We're going to take this out of here. And we're going to pull this over here. Guessy says, I am never lucky. Ah, I'm sorry, Guessy. You should change your name to Lucky Who. If you change your name to Lucky Who, it might work out. Try changing your name to Lucky Who. So this is going to be for Justin now. New name. They still make that Snorlax? No, they do not. That Snorlax is very much out of print. They do not make this Snorlax. He is super out of print. Super de duper. Uh, actually, I bought one recently, the English version, and it only cost me a few dollars. How much did it cost? Wait, this is my rocket set. Here it is. The English one, first edition, holographic, PSA 10, from 1999. See how old that is? And it only cost $2,754. Wow, that is so cheap. That's super cheap, man. Cosmic. Hey, man. All right, so this is 90s. Gonna head off to bed. Have a good rest of the stream, everyone. Oh, thanks, man. You know what? When you guys get out of college... After you're done going into debt in college, you too can buy Pokemane cards because you'll finally have a job. How nice will that be? Turns out, being in college and spending all your money is not as good as being out of college and having a job. He says, I don't roll out of, I don't roll out of bed for a card less than 4K. Luxurion says, how does your bank let you do this? Uh, my wife has to go to work every day. I'll trade you for an Espeon if you need the Ursa Ring. <laughs> It's a, t it's a temptation. I do need the Ursa Ring, but I have the advantage because I can just keep opening packs if I want to. <laughs> ah, let's get Barry his cosmic. All right. Oh, Barry. He's very excited. Barry's very excited for this cosmic. I'm very excited for this cosmic. Are you very excited? I will be very thankful if he pulls the secret rare because that will be very cool. Thank you very much, Obama. Wife equals free money, which equals Pokemon cards, equals viewers. Exactly. My wife left me to go to work. Honestly, Cosmic is my favorite set. Cosmic is my favorite set. We have the same favorites? You want to touch weenies together? Oh my god. Here we go. We've got Bellaba, Lana, Chaotix Well, Deerling, Golette, Dupider, Apom, Onyx, Snowrunt, and Beware... You know what we need, guys. You know what we need. Fabrava, Duskull, Temple, Piplup, Cosmog, Ponita, Mawile, and Buzzwool Hollow. Uh, we need another one of the Dust Boot Rolls. So we'll do a fresh one. Dust Boot. Oh, let me put the price on it. If you want to play again, you certainly can. Das Boot. Das Boot ist gut. Type no. With Boot, all is good. Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Litleo, Nose Pass, and Weezing. I got no job, so I'm out. That's all the money I have. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gessie. Someday, Gessie, you will be rich in Pokemans. That is real. Here's Hollow Rosa. She's kind of hot. What do you think her political affiliation is? 
think she's one of the blue-haired girls? I know Malo isn't, because she likes to cook. She's more of a traditional woman. Rufflet, Cosmoam, and Drampa. Drampa! Tough pulls there, Chief. Those were some tough pulls. You know, the new set really... Think about this. I mean, these Japanese cards, it's just... You get a guaranteed hollow. It's hot, man. It's hot, man. It's so hot! Do 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 do. Scooby doo boop 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 boop. Wait, that wasn't for Chief. That was for Barry. I'm sorry. Why did I put that into Chief's bag? Is it because I've lost my mind? Here you go. I got this, Barry. Chief, I was trying to slip you the cool pulls, but you're like, nah, don't give them to me. They go to Barry. Do 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 do. Scooby doo. Barry, did you vote for Obama? Don't answer my questions. You don't have to. This coffee is keeping me so woke. Mahasvara says, yeah, that's why I like the Japanese sets a bit more. The Japanese sets are fire, man. Man, I got like a bazillion cards to ship after this. So I got Justin his cards from 90. So we fixed that. What else is there to do? Snipe the Shining Legends? All right, Shining Legends snipe. Why ain't anyone sniping Shining Legends? Did we just open like five packs and no hot card? What are you guys thinking? Duh. Shining Legends snipe. Why aren't you, you guys aren't on top of your game, man. You guys are making it too easy. Nobody's sniping Shining Legends. Hello, we just pulled like five packs in a row, no hot. Ah. All right, well, <laughs> guess I'll go kill myself now. <laughs> I didn't want good pulls anyways. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 I'm just going to chill back here. I want to listen to this Animal Crossing music. Hmm. Let's turn this up. We're on a tropical island together, guys. There we go. <laughs> old school old school runescape jams do you see all those bags that's like five hours of shipping you guys know that that's right how's isolation treating you <sighs> I need sunlight <laughs> Nintendo was hacked help my account is compromised blazer no scoobity boop do 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 do. <laughs> Blazer, did you open a 2.5k pink booster pink? I did, Justin. I got your cards from 90. I'm actually getting more into these graded booster packs. I like them. I like them. I'm over them. miss, I guess. They never miss, huh? You Hit or miss. You've a boyfriend, I bet. He doesn't kiss Yachty. Hit or miss. Gone, find another girl when he won't miss Yachty. Gone, S-K-R-R-T, and hit the dab like Wiz Khalifa. Hit or miss. I guess I never miss. You can hold on to my little sack till next week. I can hold on to your little sack? Aw, thanks, man. I was hoping to hold on to your little sack. John McMunn. I will try to remember that, John McMunn. Blazer says, King Taco on Tuesday. The box is getting open. Skirt. I know that song. Who doesn't know that song? Who doesn't know that one? Crazies? I'm an internet guy. I'm on the internet all day. Duh. Who is not on the internet even? Some guy living on the countryside, probably. I'm not living in the countryside. I'm living in a pile of trash. You guys want to see my knee? That's a knee right there. Don't look at it. <laughs> How much you guys give me right now for face reveal? What would you guys give me if I just full on face revealed in the Pokemon card stream? Not the, not the mainstream, Pokemon card stream face reveal. 
Tell me what's up. Hot knee pick. Almost saw your pecker. <laughs> Three fifty. <laughs> I'll do absolutely nothing. People cash out. <laughs> I lose handy. <laughs> Can we check my bags for yeah. anything worth bringing? I know I bought three Japanese holos from you. Here we go. Uh, you got you got three of them. So you've got this one. Here's the electrode. You must have another bag somewhere. So you got this hot electrode. Just a tip that that wife knows what. Do do. Let's see if we can find your cards elsewhere. So if you bought. Jungle, I mean, not jungle. If you bought vintage, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Do 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 do. Scooby doo boop 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 boop. Why this music so terrible? I feel the alpha alpha male energy leaving my body as I listen to this freaking Animal Crossing music. No wonder testosterone is falling in men. Did you guys know that? That's a real thing. Average testosterone levels in men is falling. Did you guys know that? I'll tell you why it's happening. Because you listen to this dumb... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're all whipped. We're all, we're all domesticated house cats at this point. Whipped! I'm getting tired of hearing the music playing the game. Oh, I gotcha. That's exactly what my wife says. As says, Derp. Derp won the dice roll last night. There's Matt, Brian, Weekend Wolf, Chief Nighty, Miguel, Sora, Chief Buffalo again. We have a Chief Buffalo up front, don't we? We're going to combine those. Temlet, Aaron. So if you had more, Justin, either I already shipped them. Uh, maybe they're in this bag over here. Are they in this bag? That's JC. What about down here? Nope, that's JC as well. I got a lot of JC cards to ship. Holy. Holy. Holy shamoly. Uh, if you had some more cards, Justin, I don't know where they went, to tell you the truth. They're probably on the table somewhere, or they've already been shipped, one or the other. I gotcha. They're, they're on the table somewhere, man. I've, I've no clue. Temlet says, Shining. Oh, Temlet finally cutting... Like a hot knife through butter. You ready, Temlet? You you ready to smash these shining legends? You know I could have kept going, right, Temlet? You know I could have kept opening these, but I stopped because I want my audience to pull the hot cards, not me. I wanted to give you guys a chance. I'm not gonna give you the chance, stupid. Those over here. What do we got? We got How, Great Ball, Arbok, Shroomish, Golet, Purloin, Plusel, Stunfisk, How. <laughs> Keldeo, my little Keldeo. Next pack. This is it. This is it. This is test tube Mewtwo. Coronavirus. Oh, something glimmered back there, but I, I think it felt like a GX, man. That was like a GX glimmer. Right, you GX. I knew it. I got the eyes for it, man. I can see through. I can almost see through the foil at this point. That's how good. <laughs> I'm like bragging about how good I am. That's how good I am at dropping all the common cards. God. Can we just throw these away? Alright, those go in the trash pile. Stupid. Tell me, we started a new bag for you, didn't we? How many shining left? I got one pack on the table. I think I can get more shining if I need to. Here you are. You got shifted all the way to the back. That's how fast this channel's been moving, Tim. Tim, Tim. How much is YouTube test tube Mewtwo worth? His price is going up. I think I saw him going for like 200 just the other day. Could have sworn he was going for 200. Yeah, I think he was. I think there was a point where he was trading at like 100, and I think he shifted up to like 200. You want me to check? Mewtwo Mew is also going back up. That's right, Taco. King Taco, you probably been checking that because you own one. You won one in a lotto, so you probably all over that. You're like, oh, yes. Uh, let's go shining. Oops. Shining, because I can. Because I can, he says. All right, we're going to say PSA 10. 
Shining Legends Mewtwo, PSA 10. We're going to go buy it now. Lowest first. So we're going by the cheapest one, right? All right, now we're scrolling up. Okay, no, he's not too crazy yet. There is a Shining Legends Mewtwo for, right now for sale for 130. So he's going for 130 right now. I misspoke. He is 130 years old. All right. Tem says, Shining because I can. Be right back. I got to get more Shining for Tem Tems. I have three test tubes. Hey, mister, if I open a heavy pack, you better guarantee a Zard. <laughs> You're thinking about it, huh? You know what I made for lunch today, guys? I made um, green bean casserole, and it is so good. Green bean casserole, man. It was green bean casserole and a pack of bacon. So you got a little piece of bacon, and then you get yourself a scoop of green bean casserole. Mmm. I'm kind of a chef over here. Yeah, it could be Magneton. Just keep that in mind. If you buy one of these heavy packs of the base set, it could be Magneton. It could be Charizard. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't uh, sell them one at a time. I was just going to let them sit for a long time. At $375 each, I'm worried somebody's going to try and snipe these out. I cut the shining instead of my wrists. Less shining. Those over here. Temlet's going through, no, not Temlet, Cheese is going through his his face, the Pokemon card cutting face. Flip these around. Temlet, you could just, they're not Temlet, Cheese, you could just be cutting cheese. All right, so I had to open up another box. That's the last pack from there, put it on top. Shining ho -oh. mm. Are you going to change the price for the midweight since it might be 50 50 hollow pull? Probably not. Probably I won't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Beautiful. And Temlet is going three deep. Good luck, Temlet. So this obviously isn't going out too fast. Let's put it to the side for now. I like that. Put that to the side. Play another day. Ooh, look at these sexies. These smexies. Why aren't there booster boxes for Shining Legends? Some series, some uh, Pokemon card series do not get booster boxes. They're treated as like these special expansions. Shining Legends and Hidden Fates are treated that way. Three, four... And we got Great Ball, Arbok, Pokemon Breeder, Ekans, Pikachu, Totodile, Bulbasaur, Golette, Jinx, and Zekrom. Wow, Zekrom. We love Zekrom. About time, you, about time you buy like two Pokemon Illustrator online. I actually don't care for po uh, uh, Pikachu, the Pikachu Illustrator card. I think he looks really boring. One of the things that I believe in, one of my philosophies for collecting is do not buy it unless it's beautiful. And also, my other philosophy is do not buy it if its rarity is based on something that's not beautiful. Uh, so, for example, one of the things I was analyzing really carefully, I was thinking about this for a long time, shadowless base set versus first edition base set. And obviously, you can get them both, first edition shadowless. But I realized you pay so much money for first edition shadowless, and it's just, you know, a tiny change in the card, which means this card is technically slightly older, but it's the same Pokemon. And I realized I could take all the money that I might be putting into Shadowless and buy all these other cards. So I won't be doing that. I won't be going after the Shadowless. Shadowless, way overpriced. It's, it's kind of like uh, any error card, right? People go, oh my god, there's an error on that card. I should pay 50 times more for it. Nope. No thanks. Yeah. I, I was thinking about it because my new goal is actually to build up a really large Pokemon card collection. So I don't know about you guys. But I'm just going to go deep. 
I'm gonna go real deep on the cards over time. I'm just gonna keep buying and buying and buying. That was my goal. I'm just gonna buy tons of cards. And I there was a point where I was like, okay, well you can start working on a shadowless collection. And I was like, should I work on a shadowless collection? I was thinking about it. I really was. I'm like, no, never gonna do that. Never gonna happen. No shadowless. I think that they're way overpriced. They're just they're the same set. They're just older than some of the cards in that set. And then visually, you're you're really just talking about a very small change in the card visually. So I think that people have overvalued shadowless because you get it into your mind and you're like, oh man, that must be so valuable. But it's not, is it? It's really just a slightly older print run of the same set, but you want to pay like seventy thousand dollars more for it. And I'm thinking, what's the value in that? You just get to claim that yours is shadowless. So it's, I realized, in my opinion, and you don't have to agree with me on this one, guys. In my opinion, that's overpriced. That's overpriced. So some cards are overvalued. I would say shadowless is a perfect example of overvalued cards. So you guys will always have dibs on those before I do because I'm not interested. We're going to go to Cheese. How's it going, Half Ghost, Half Link? He says, what if I pay half price? You get half a pack and I cut it in half. One more round. Sounds good, Temlet. One more round. All right, now I have to ask Cheese, are you sure you want to cut these beautiful Pokemon cards that did you no harms? Can you put my two backs together? Oh, yeah, I, I can. That's why I brought it up to the front. These are bulk. Cheese, are you sure you want to cut these? I'm never not sure. You got it. Time to cut some Pokemans. Instead of cutting them, I just donate them to, to Gessie. <laughs> I want some casserole. You want some green bean casserole? <laughs> Gerson? Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Marshadow Keldeo. All right. Whoa, the Pokey Gods have determined that we will, in fact, not cut a nice card in half. That means maybe these next three cards are hot. Good luck, Temlet. Temlet really going deep. 24. One, two, and three. <laughs> New YouTube channel, Cook Economist. That's right. I'm going to teach you guys how to cook. I'm a good cook. It's actually true. I know a lot about cooking. I watch a lot of videos on cooking, so I get educated on it. Oh, you are one pack away from cutting a secret rare cheese. Look at that. Okay, it's going to be the Zorark GX. Nice. And you know what? He looks fairly well-centered. I don't know, man. He looks pretty well-centered. Ah, but you know, this corner just looks a little... Yeah, that's going to hold you back from the 10, I think. Darn. What is that with Shining Legends being so hard to grade? I guess that's a good thing, you know. It keeps them rare. Keeps them rare. Secret Rare Zorark. Pikachu, Jinx, Shroomish, Damage Mover, and Palkia. Next pack. I don't know, Mang. I don't know about that. Two, three, four, five. Hey, Master. You got any more of those um, gradable secret rares? Totodile, Bulbasaur, Golette, Palkia, and Marshadow. So there was a hit card in your three packs. Congratulations, Temlet. Temlet, it might be a nine, which is still a decent grade in my opinion. Especially over time, that will be a fair grade. A nine. I'm going to put it in the front of the bag. I think you already have that one, don't you? Any other Neo sets on the way? I don't know. Hmm. Man, wouldn't it be crazy if there were like some Japanese Neo Destiny? Man, that would be wild. Probably, probably not coming, though. Probably not. Probably not. King Taco says, make cooking videos. All right, guys, this is the cook economist. I'm going to teach you the economy of cooking. So let's see, four. Four. 
Chef Conomist. That's right, Chef Conomist. We're going to play another game of dice. And this one's, uh, the entry fee is $7 if you want to play. We're going to play another game of Dust Boot. You get these four packs and this Shining Ho-Oh, okay? So $7, your odds are 1 in 6. First video, how to obtain the meat. What? The meat hammer? Since we're talking about education and we know people lack basic skills like cooking, you should do just do a basic skills channel. <laughs> Life hacks channel. <laughs> Luxuron says, too poor, too young. Four. Justin's in. We need five more players. There you go, Justin. Put me on six. That's Chief Buffalo. Beck is in. Beck, you can only have one. So I owe you, Beck. Well, should we? I mean, I guess it doesn't ma matter, does it? It doesn't change your odds necessarily. So, all right, we'll do it. So Beck is two and Beck is five. I don't care. So he has he has better odds of you guys to win, but he paid double for it. So he's double the odds for double the price. So I say that's fair. It's kind of like doubling down. And then John. I'm in. John's going up here because he didn't define what he wanted. That's fine. And cheese is going to be number three. You guys want to do a practice roll? Let's do a practice roll just for fun. Just for fun, you ready? So imagine as if this was the real roll. You ready? If I win, I cut. Beck, you would have won right there if that was the real roll. But here we go. Now it's the real roll. You ready? Here it goes. And the winner is Cheese. Cheese, you won. <laughs> cheese, don't cut them, dude. There's some hot pulls in there. You can feel it. I can feel it in my loins, dude. He just cut them all. I mean, they belong to Cheese. They're Cheese cards. Do you want the Shining Ho-Oh cut, or do you want to save the, the Ho-Oh? Che cheese is just going to have them all cut. <laughs> Tell me to save the Shining Ho-Oh. He's going to be like, cut the Ho-Oh. Cut them all? Give the Ho-Oh to Gessie. There you go, Gessie. There you go, Gessie. Gessie's too pure for this. Look away, Gessie. I don't want you to see what's about to happen. Jeez, give me bulk. Gessie's like, what? <laughs> All right. Oh, no! There you go, Gessie. This is now yours. Cheese wants me to cut them all. So I think the appropriate thing to do would be to pull the hot card out of each one. Throw that over there. <laughs> I mean, they're his cards. You want them, right? So let me think about this. This is the actual rare. Let me just double check. Yes, it is. So that's the reverse. I'm going to start saving the reverse hollows too. To me, it just doesn't make sense to throw those away. They can go right in the bulk. But that's the hot card. That's what everyone wants to know about. I'm telling you, Cheese. I'm going to beat you up, boy. Find out where you live. I'm going to say, you cut my cards, I cut you. No, I'm just kidding. They're not. They're not mine. They're, they're Cheese's. He can do whatever he wishes. Oh, my God. He's like, I shall spare the ho-oh, and it will go into the residential province of one Miss Gessie. All right, your last chance to change your mind. Oh, man, I think I'm feeling some hot cards right there. Cheese just said not to warp his cards. What? 
He says this is helping. It was meant to be cut. Okay. He said cut them. And we said, oof. Th there's four packs here. There's a very high chance there's a hot pull right here, guys. Are you ready? All right. Toss that off. Let's find out what happens in four bo booster packs. Flip that around. Oh, no. Something's shining in there. A Veltal. Okay, Verizian. Oh, it's just a Zorak GX. I can live with that. Woo! Hot mama. Woo! So close. So close. Jeez, is like WTF. Jeez, you haven't cut anything valuable. That's the Poke Gods protecting their Poke, Poke beings, their Poke creations. How's it going, Riker? Did you just call me GC? I don't know who GC is. I know who TCC is. Who's this GC you speak of? Thomas has never seen such bullshit. Toss that over there. And put this right here. I don't want to talk about my trash pile. It is a weak cut game. What is this GC you speak of? Beautiful. TCC, is it okay if I can see my cards? Yeah, if we can find them. Everyone's like, hey, I want to see my cards, man. Hey, mister. Uh, let's see. I don't think you're standing, so your card might be over here. McMahon, Cole, Jer Bear, Zen like Panda, Guessy. Wrong stream, used to gaming stream. I know, man. <laughs> uh, if I could find your card, I would definitely show you. But I promise you, I've got one bazillion cards, so I don't even know where to begin looking. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe on this side, there's cheese. That's going to be Temlet. If you buy some cards right now, I can show you those. Then you would then you would be able to see your cards right away. Aaron. I don't think you're on the table, which means you'd be on the left. Oops. Mary SS Derp. See, I don't think you're on the table anymore. Hey, I never got the pick, guess he bought me. What? It was about 80 in mid Cali today already. Damn, that's hot. That's hot, man. What is this music playing? This music's terrible. Who designed this Animal Crossing music? That's illegal. Animal Crossing music is only allowed to be good sounding. I never, I meant I never got the pin. Guess he bought me. Oh, right. The pin is still on the table. You're still good, Cheese. So I can ship that off to you uh, today, actually. The shipping's after this live stream. The shipping is after this live stream. You guys want to play more games? What do we got? We're going to dice off a, a random PSA card. Are you ready? We're going to shuffle the PSA cards. it <laughs> my above comments what'd you say in your above comments how valuable is rainbow rare zekrom rush around from cosmic it's pretty decent speaking of rush around here's zekrom right there that's a psa 9 pikachu zekrom and here's what we're going to do we're going to do two packs along with the pikachu zekrom let me do a little Configuration over here. Burp, 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 burp. So let's see. Oh, that's actually a little pricier. Uh, so let's see. It's not crazy expensive. If you guys want to play this round, I don't know if you do. This one will be 11 bucks per, per round, per person, with the odds of 1 in 6 once again. What is the interest in this? What are we doing?
So there's two booster packs of Shining Legends and a Pikachu Zekrom PSA 9. If you guys want to play this round, let me know by purchasing a position. Das Boot! It is Das Boot. What? 66 is the devil's number? You should do a three-player 20. Damn, that was a, that's a cool idea. I like that. We could do like a high-cost three-player round. 20 bucks isn't even that much when you're filthy rich. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling in the Pokemon cards. We could talk about some other things too. Uh, let's, let's do a review of what I have. So I've got packs of Neo Discovery. We got Jungle. I think I got one more pack of Fossil. Yep, I got another pack of Fossil right here. So that's pretty cool. Those are vintage packs. Unified and shiny. Unified and shining, says Temlet. Let's get these Unified Minds. Give me a minute. Unified Minds. I think I missed a comment. Give me a minute. I will look that back up. Sounds good. I am Matic. I am addicted to you. I can't pretend I don't care when you don't think about me, do you? <laughs> think I deserve this? I tried to make you happy, but you left anyway. I am trying to forget. Oh my god, that geez. I am addicted to you, but I want it and I need it. I am addicted to. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> Jacob says, I have $1,000 to spend on Pokemon. And I am wondering, what should I do with it? I would love your advice. So there's two ways to look at it. You could go buy the, the Pokemon that you love the most. Or you could go buy $1,000 of whatever you believe will appreciate the most. So some Pokemon like doubles in value in like less than a year. So it depends on what it is you want to do. If you were looking to have fun, you would just take your favorite Pokemon and go look for a thousand dollar equivalent card of that. And I would only buy PSA graded cards. I wouldn't buy raw cards for what you're looking for right now, unless you're real good at understanding raw cards. So I would pick an already graded card, okay? Really, if, if you're very new, I wouldn't spend the full thousand. I would just spend like maybe 50 to 100 bucks and see how you feel about it and see if you still like it a week later. That's what I would do. Wait a week, see if you're still into it. If you are, then you can go deep for the full thousand. Actually, what I mean to say is we got $100. <laughs> we have $100 jungle Japanese booster packs. Go crazy, man. We could, uh, we could go deep on a Team Rocket box together. You want me to crack open a Team Rocket box? I don't even know what the packs are going for these days. They, they must have gone up by now. Like, I think the boxes are like a thousand bucks. You know, I bought that when that was $2,400. The first box, $2,400 for me. Now they're like 6000 Now they're like 5200 or something. I don't know. They're heading toward 6000 I promise you. They're going to hit that number. I know it because I seen it with the other boxes. I seen it. Let's open up templates packs. One. So templates got some booster picks. He's going after the Mewtwo's. That's why he's got Unified Minds and Shining Legends. Shining Legends gives you a chance for Mewtwo's. Unified Minds gives you, gives you a chance for Mewtwo's. And you know what? He needs that Mewtwo secret rare, doesn't he? Don't he? Doesn't he? Don't he? Pack number one. Oops. Mewtwo got them thick thighs. Three, four. My favorite Pokemon is Abra. Do you have any cool Abras for sale? Any cool Abras? Well, guess what? You and I share that in common. When I played the games a long time ago, I would what I would do is I would get an Abra, and then I would get rid of my Pokemon main. So, you know, if I pull, like, Char Charmander, I'd get Abra later and just give up on the Charmander entirely. Uh, do I? Are there any cool Abras? Let me think about it for a second. You know, funny enough, I can't really think of any super rare Abras. I think there might be some promo Abras out there, like a Sabrina's Abra. That might be worth a little bit, but I don't think he's a very expensive one. I could give you a tip for shopping, though. Do this trick on eBay. Search for Pokemon PS... Don't do Pokemon in the title. Just say PSA 10, PSA 10, and then type in Abra, and then do a search for that. And then what you do is you organize it by buy it now, and what you do after that is you organize it by highest price. 
And what'll happen is the most valuable Abra will be sorted to the top, the most expensive one. And then after you figure out what the most expensive Abra is, you do the search again, but you search for it by lowest price to find the cheapest version of that card. Are there any Gold Star Abras? I do not know that question. See, I mean, I'll help you out with it. Give me a second. I'll help you out with it. Let me finish opening these packs. Ah, cold packs. Sorry, Temlet. How about the Shining Legends, though? Could these be hot? Please be hot, Shining Legends. Come on, man. Come on, man. Pokemon Breeder. Ah, Reshiram. Wow, Temlet, that was very unlucky. Very unlucky. Let's jump over here to eBay. I'm going to do a search for you. Are you ready? So we're going to go PSA 10, Abra. My guess is probably Shadowless First Edition Abra is going to be the most expensive. There's a really expensive Tops Abra for $1,500. So here it is. It looks like the most expensive Abra comes from the base set. It's first edition Shadowless Abra PSA 10 from the base set, and it will cost you, it looks like $180, $150. So you got $150. There's a Sabrina's Abra promo. That's what I was thinking about. And he's only like 46. So no, currently there are no super valuable Abras. Maybe that's a sign. All right, cool. Great question. Move that over here. And it's obvious you guys aren't wanting to play that. I'm gonna throw that away. Maybe you guys will be interested in playing a coin toss. So in a coin toss game, the way it works, there's a player on the left and a player on the right who both buy a pack. And then we flip a coin and one person takes both packs. In this case, if you want to play, it's $8. And that's how you play. Let me know if you guys want to play. Luxurion says, at least it means it's cheaper to get them. Open a team booster box. A team rocket booster box? I'm doing it just because you asked. I'm just going to open it up. <laughs> yes, that's right, Riker. Streamlabs for the $8. We need a player on the left and a player on the right. So two players. Much easier to find two people. Two players, and then I do foot reveal. I'll show you my COVID toes. <laughs> codes! <laughs> That's right. Show me codes. Hey, mister. You got any codes, mister? Oh, man, I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been saying that so many times. <laughs> I got to find, like, a new phrase or something. TCC, what booster pack do you get Shiny Hollow Mew from? Uh, you get it from Shining Legends. Shining Legends. Shining Legends. Guess I'll just take a break. I also like Oddish, so at least I could collect the hollow Oddish cards. Oh, for sure, Jacob. There should be like a legendary Abra. Look up reverse hollow legendary Abra. Does that not exist? I can't think. Maybe that doesn't exist. It should. I bet it's hard to obtain, though. Hey, we got one player. That's Riker's pack. We're looking for one more player who wants to play the toss, coin toss. $8 to play. One player loses. One player wins. The winner takes both cards. When will I have more hidden fates? I have them ordered. It's just a matter of them showing up at my door. Justin says, is the Big Lotto going? No, Big Lotto's over, and we would probably never bring it back. Oops. I believe I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good stream. Good night, Jamie Insis. There is a Reverse Hollow Legendary Collection Oddish. Nice. Justin says, who won? Uh, it was Beck. Beck won, and he won a Fossil Snorlax. Really good. Yeah, that was a, at the beginning of the live stream. That was really neat. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool.
I just bought a Reverse Hollow Oddish and Abra Legendary card. Thanks for your help. I love your stream. Oh, perfect. I'm glad you found those, Jacob. Yeah, you should find those pretty cool looking. They're, the, the Reverse Hollow is very exciting to look at. If the team booster boxes are worth double the amount you got for them, why not sell them? Great question. It's because the real question is when will they stop going up in price? When they stop going up in price, that's probably when I should open them. Hey, Mister, is this on PlayStation? <laughs> well, when is he going to do PlayStation? <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I got to play with um, Zachariah the Messiah. Let's get it. Get it to it. All right, the way it works, Riker's on the right or the left, and he gets heads. Oh, that's my own hair. Hold on. <laughs> I was running my hand through my hair. And this is going to be Justin over here. So, Riker, Justin. Justin, you need a tails. Riker needs a head. Are you guys ready? Hey, mister, is this PC? Here we go. Good luck. And it does land on heads, so both packs are going over to Riker. Congratulations, Riker. Tough luck today, Justin. No, this is Patrick. Whoa. We got pack number one and pack number two. Sorry, Riker can't give you his bulk. That is, uh, That means I would be shipping you bulk cards. I don't even know where your pack is. So here we go. Justin's like, I can still recover from this. I'm not the Krusty Krabs. No problem, man. You're not in trouble or anything. Croconaw, Scraggy, Tour Cat, Minum, and Verizian. So Riker's pack didn't have anything in it anyways. Let's see what your pack had. Let's see if Justin's pack had anything hot in it. All right, here we go. Scrafty, Go, Lurk, Stun, Fisk, Ekans, Breloom, Voltorb, Blitten, Feraligator. <laughs> Bolt packs cold. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Sorry, guys. <laughs> cold packs all day, every day. Now, how we, when are we going to get two big rollers and do a flip on these guys? When are we going to do that? Hmm? Hey, mister, is Pikachu the new monster for Iceborne? When are we going to get two... Be careful with the hot things. Pretty pulls for each. <laughs> when are we going to get two big, deep pocket players to play Neo Destiny against each other? Oh, I flip would be fun. Yeah, so the flip is a very fast way to lose. 80 bones a pack? Well, for a flip, yes. But that means you lose $80 right away if you don't win. So, oops. It, I was kind of just joking. But yeah, if, if two people wanted to play, I guess I wouldn't stop you. But that's... My pockets are deep, but only for bills. You got the right idea, Chief. That's a deep, deep pockets flip right there. I mean, if you're rich, do what you want. If you got the money, you could do anything you want, man. I don't think my audience is, like, super rich. Yeah, uh, t so, Jacob, we have some vintage packs for sale. We have Neo Discovery, Japanese. These are 80. We have Japanese base set. And these are $150 for light packs. You can send light packs in for grading. We have... Heavy packs. The heavy packs are believed to have holographic cards in them. It's not guaranteed, but we weighed these, and these are heavier than the light packs. So they're much more expensive at 375 Part of the reasoning for the price, you might pull Blastoise, you might pull Venusaur, you might pull Charizard. So those cards are pretty cool. Uh, we have very nice vintage jungle packs. I'm selling these $100 each currently. And I have one last fossil pack for $100. Oh, that's Neo Discovery. One last jungle pack for $100. Move that over there to the appropriate pile. Can I get an Aber Oddish in those packs? Uh, the jungle packs actually do have Oddish. And actually, yeah, the base set have uh, Abra. So this set here, believe it or not, this set here actually has Abra in it. And the jungle pack has Oddish in it. It has a chance for Oddish. I can't guarantee that you'll pull one right away. But yeah, not just that, but they come... The, the Jungle Packs and the Fossil Pack come with guaranteed holographics. The heavy base set packs are going to have holographics in them too, most likely. I'll put this away. You guys don't want to flip for $80. That's crazy. If you're going to spend $80, just take the... You know what I mean? Don't be crazy. 
Jungle Oddish is really cute. Rocket Oddish looks the best. We got all the Oddish cards. Whoa! Oh, snap! Which one of you lightweights want to play against me? Mahasvara would like to play. I might play against you, Mahasvara. If you can trust me, maybe we'll do Das Boot and uh, Even Odd like usual. But I'll wait and see if somebody else wants to play. Does somebody want to play against Mahasvara? It's an $80 dice toss. $80 coin flip. How much does it cost to have cards graded? Riker, uh, I grade the cards for you if you want me to for $18 bucks per card. If the card's really expensive, then it's uh, $32 for the grading. And that's because PSA changes their prices if you got a good one. <laughs> it's like they know. They're like, oh, you got a good card, huh? You're going to pay more. This man's crazy. TCC, can you open a booster box for me? I'll pay you... Ister? What? Chief says, I may have gotten the stimulus, but I'm not. I'm still not willing to go deep. You got, come on, man, spend that stimulus. You got to save the economy by buying Pokemans. DL says, if you play again how, against the house, take the dice offer. Yeah, we'll do dice if you play against me. Imposter Gary Oak says, I was going for, I was gone for a bit. Any of the lottos go. Uh, right now we're doing a coin toss on two packs, which means one person will lose $80. Mahasvara is in. We need one more player. He says, well, if it's for saving the economy, <laughs> actually, believe it or not, uh, I was listening to these gold and silver guys talk about the stimulus checks and like worst case scenarios for them. And basically the way it works is the government creates inflation when they print all this money to give to you guys in the form of checks. And they, they sort of print it. What they do is they, uh, they print bonds is what they really do. And then the Federal Reserve buys the bonds, right? So they send you out your checks and... A worst case scenario, everyone saves their check. If nobody actually spends the money, then it's actually worse than if they had even given the checks out at all. See? So if they print a bunch of money and cause inflation and then nobody spends the money, the economy is even in an even wor worse place than it was before. Because what makes the economy good is the actual constant transaction. So let's say, Chief Buffalo, you bought $20 of cards and then I took the $20 and I bought $20 from you of something. And it's actually the passing around of the money that makes the economy strong. Let's do the coin flip. Let's go. Oh, we've got a coin flip on. Uh, you know what? It is actually going to be does boot. We're going to do the dice just because I don't want to be responsible for a bad flip. So here's how it's going to go. Oh, my God. I can't believe we're doing this. You guys are nuts, man. All right. And if you want to change your mind, this is your chance to change your mind. Let me know if you want to change your mind. I could just cut your pack open for you. They are smaller. What? The way it's going to work. One player gets even. One player gets odd. mahasvara has got even. Uh, Imposter Gary Oak has odd. Matt says best two out of three. We could do that. Mahasvara says do the dice. All right, here, you know what? He made the purchase. I'm going to assume he's in. All right, so it's going to be best two out of three. Mahasvara needs even. Uh, Imposter Gary Oak needs odd. Here we go. Roll number one is... It's actually odd. Imposter Gary Oak is o up one. Roll number two. He says, yeah, let's go. Is even. This next roll determines who wins. You ready? All right, it's Das Boot. It's odd. Imposter Gary Oak, congratulations, man. You just picked up a spare booster pack. Holy smokes, man. That is some high stakes Das Booten. <laughs> Better luck next time, Mahasvara. Mahasvara with the deep pockets over here. Holy. Alright, when we play a game, the packs do get open. Let's see what you got, Imposter Gary Oak. Holy heck, man. You get them next time. <laughs> Holy heck. I didn't think anyone would play that. I just did that as a joke. Alright, so we know what these common and uncommons will be. There's only like 56 of them, so they're pretty... They're not the, they're not the most fun part of this. We're just going to keep opening these. Holy heck, guys. 
Did that just happen? We should do that again, but with $375 heavy packs from the base set. He's going to get Umbreon and Tyranitar. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. All right, here we go. Pack number one. It actually was Umbreon. <laughs> Pack number one was Umbreon. Damn. Beautiful pack. I don't remember whose pack that was. That might have been his pack anyways. Pack number two. Okay, and pack number two is Fortress. Cool. So Fortress and Umbreon. Very nice. What? You guys are crazy, man. That's some crazy stuff. I did not think anyone would play. Two guys play. They're like, yeah, let's do it. Well, thanks, Mazvar. Thanks, Imposter Gary Oak. And, and Gary Oak's been playing a few of the games that we offer. And uh, he hasn't won any. That's the first game that he won. And he picked up that Umbreon and the Spare uh, Fortress as well. So, Imposter Gary Oak. I'm going to need your shipping address now, okay? So, you contact me on Discord. There's a link to Discord in the description. Discord is a, a social media uh, server that allows you to talk to people. Well, you're going to send me a private message. And you're going to tell me where to ship them, okay? Shame about the Oddish. What? What about the Oddish? Did I miss something? Dude, the two out of three was actually really fun. What were the vintage packs that guarantee a hollow? Oh, the jungle packs do guarantee a hollow. So jungle packs are guaranteed hollow. And uh, you could your best pull is probably going to be the Snorlax, but there's actually Flareon, um, uh, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon in there. I got one pack of this. Who's this for? Was I saving this for someone? I feel like I was saving that for someone. I don't know who. But yeah, those are the jungle packs. Holy, holy heck, guys! How many combinations can you get with two dice? Let me map it out. There's a simple math equation that tells you. Yeah, you can get too many. You can get a ton of combinations, actually. One, two, one, 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 three, one, four, one, five, one, six. And then you would multiply that by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 36 combinations. 36 combinations. I really like Discord code. How much is the Umbreon worth? And that's a great question. You know, uh, it, in a few months, I think he will be worth a lot more than what he's worth now because the Japanese cards, in my opinion, they're probably going to catch up to the English cards very soon the English cards the English cards all appreciated and the Japanese cards haven't appreciated chief says how much for jungle we're doing a hundred dollars for the jungle uh, but you know what I will do ninety dollars on jungle right now I don't want to do that for too long though I think jungle packs have moved up already jungle packs are expensive the jungle box the booster box is like for English it's like uh, ten thousand dollars isn't it and I, I don't think you can buy a Japanese booster box they don't even exist he's got jungle fever boy jungle fever we open up we opened up a jungle last night for mary for 75 so that was already a loss frick man i really want to buy that umbre on an ebay but i don't have the money <laughs> open up that only fans man what are you waiting for shake them hips does the Umbreon look grade worthy centering oh uh let me take a look I didn't even think, I didn't even think. Hold on. Oops, hold on. Let me put it on screen for you. I would say he looks a little thicker down here than he looks up here. Yeah, this appears to be the same on the back of the card. You can tell by the red line up there versus down here. So it's a little, it's a little off center for sure. 
I think that he might pull a 9 at least. Uh, but if he pulls a 10, hey, that'd be nice. But I don't think you can rely on PSA to just be like, ah, give it a 10. So for now, I'd assume he's a 9. Better be careful because Oddish is weak to fire type. What? <laughs> you going deep for Oddish? All right, I'm doing it. I'm opening the Oddish for you. Dude, this trash pile is spilling over. What the hell? My above comet? Question mark? Let me see what your above comet. Can I get that other jungle with the Zapdos on it? What are you talking about, other jungle with the Zapdos? Oh, this is Fossil. Yeah, so I, this was supposed to be $100 as well. This is my only pack of Fossil right now. So that is the Fossil set. It's very old. It's like 24 years old. And the best pull in there is going to be Dragonite. Followed by Gengar? Yeah, Gengar. Gengar's in there. Zapdos is in it. Moltres and Articuno are in there. Kabutops, Hitmonlee, Magneton, Muck. You could even just buy the pack and save the unopened pack. You should raise the price if it's your only... No, I'm, I'm not going to raise the price any further than it is. I think the price I'm asking is already already fair for me dl says guru so jelly on whomever pulled i know right that was a uh, uh, beck it was beck right was it not beck i can't remember no it was miguel miguel pulled dragonite beck pulled snorlax unbelievable they were there the whole time they were sitting right there in my pile damn damn homies you guys are crazy yeah miguel got very lucky So this is the card you will hope to pull from Fossil. Uh, but there's also a Gengar in there that's really nice. The price on Fossil was also $100. But you know, I'd do $90 on that one. J just to keep the stream going, because I'm, I'm about to shut the stream up soon enough, and we will be doing a ton of shipping. So if I can sell a few more cards before we start the shipping process, that's a good thing. How much longer will I be streaming? Uh, one more minute. No, I could I could stream indefinitely. I could stream for like four hours if I wanted. But if we're going to do that, it's got to be a busy stream. If the stream slows down, you know, that's when I got to close up shop and start doing all the shipping for you guys. I got a lot of shipping to do. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hot. He says, don't open it. It'll take the fossil, don't open it though. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Sorry, chat. No problem, man. Sometimes that's the smart choice, to keep it sealed. For all you know, there's a muck in here. Of course, if Miguel had left his sealed, he'd be a sad boy today. He wouldn't even know it. But maybe what you don't know doesn't give you a, a Dragonite. Chief, do you want me to save this for grading, or do you want me to ship it out to you right away? Oh, I should get a 20-sided die. Duh, that would be so cool. Then we could do the dice game, but it can be divided amongst more people, and that would allow the price of admission to be much smaller. Oh, I'm going to do that. Sounds good, Chief. There you go. Hey, man, thanks for letting us see your pulls today. That was really cool. You got Wobble Fed. That's pretty neat. Chief probably just dodged a bullet. It was probably guaranteed muck. <laughs> hey, look, that's Oddish right there. There's that Oddish artwork right there, man. <laughs> is that a Venusaur in the background? What is that? Oh, that's a Volcano. That's a Volcano. I gotcha. Look at the size of Executor. He's actually not that tall here. He's like a bush. Look, there's a pincer up there. I didn't even see that before. Problem. Tips can't buy anything but want to see the stream go on. What? DL! He says, Tips can't buy anything. Oh, he's saying, Oh, you, <laughs> you need some time to recover, DL. I got it. I got you. I'm the same way. I went pretty deep, actually, uh, so I, I've, I, I'm not buying quite as much because I bought uh, really that, that Charizard earlier. It was really expensive. 
Jacob says, you, you are my friend. You found Oddish. I know, right? You know, if you want, if you really love Oddish a whole bunch, what you can do is you can buy one of these packs and have it graded. Let me show you. I think I was showing this off earlier in the stream. Where to put it? Put it behind me. Well, I had these somewhere. Where did I place them? I just had them. I've lost them. I don't deserve to have them. Oh, here they are. I placed them somewhere safe. Okay, so check this, check this out. This is a graded pack. And right now you could buy one of these for like, it's like $250, $300. So this is a graded booster pack. And so if you like the artwork on a pack, you could do the same thing. It would probably look like this after being graded. And got your little Oddish right in the middle. Right? Maybe probably about about right here, actually, I think. Yeah, probably it would look like this. Because they I guess they fold it. I don't know why they fold it. That's just how they decided that it would be done. I don't really care. The reason that I buy these, the reason that I buy these is because I know as these continue to be opened, that these will go up in price. So this is actually a very clever idea. He says, I don't like that the packs are bent to fit the case. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I don't think it hurts it though, either. I don't think it hurts it. So as long as the pack inside is safe, it's good. Tyler's going in. Shining Legends. Shining Legends. Here goes Tyler. That's Tyler M. Tyler, are you new? All right, guys, Tyler about to pull test tube Mewtwo is happening. Two, three, let's see where we go. Good luck, Tyler. Now, Tyler, in order to get that address to me, you'll have to contact me on Discord, okay? Links in the description of the live stream. Tyler says, from the Monster Hunter streams. Oh, cool, nice to see you over here. This is where we open up a bunch of Pokemans, really old Pokemans. Oh, no way, you just pulled the best card in the set. Oh my god, Tyler, what were the freaking odds of that? Temla's been opening these all day. This is it. This is the chase card in the set. Tyler, you go right into the lucky leaderboards in our Discord server. What? It was sitting right there, right on top. <laughs> he looks really good. He's got a white dot right here, but that's it. The centerings are very clean on this card. Damn. You know that card goes for like 100 bucks now, right? As a 10? What the... I don't know how much he goes for. Probably like 120. Probably like 120, 140. What the hell? He just starts out pulling it. He says, why couldn't I have cut that? The pokey gods were protecting their pokey creations. Damn. Super sniped. That's right. What the hell? Lit and Larvesta, Purloin. Oh, when you pick up this Mewtwo GX as well. That is an okay card. You could always trade these in for like a dollar as bulk. That's probably what I'll do to all my GXs, just bulk them. Throw that over there. He's a little off-center too, this one. Well, he's not too bad actually, but this is hot right here. Very cool, man. What are the odds of that? That's a very rare pull. Yeah, this does not get pulled on the stream very often. Tem, you should have gone one card deeper. <laughs> you know how many times that has happened? I've seen that happen so many times. Somebody been going after a card. Okay, I got a low battery on my phone. Hold on. So I need to stand up for a minute. I've been sitting down for like three hours. It feels like five hours maybe. All right. The lapel mic comes off. There it goes. There it goes. The lapel mic is off now because the, car, uh, the uh, phone is plugged into the charger. It is about to die. Who should I message on Discord? Uh... You want to message me, the game economist. Game economist, card economist, you'll send a private message. All right, move that over there. Let me clean up my desk for a minute here. Man, that was so random. We've been opening so many of the Shining Legends without pulling that card, and then he just pops right out. Kitty, what are you doing, kitty? So I'm standing up because I've been sitting for way too long today. It's so unhealthy, man. Man, I could do some cleaning. Whew. 
look at that. What do we have? Let's see what we have on the table to look at. I think I've shown you guys everything. Uh, I'll probably get some more mail tomorrow, so maybe something fun tomorrow. Jacob says, I love your Shining Charizard from earlier. It's super cool. Hey, let's show it off. Let's show it off. Oh, not this. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I would probably even trade an Oddish for it. <laughs> what? You're too generous. <laughs> TCC, trade my Azor Rourk for Shining. Uh, I would do that. How many Shining do you want, though? It's up to how many you want, Temlet. Temlet wants to roll again. I'm assuming your Azor Rourke's a 9, not a 10. A couple, your choice. I trust you. Ah, oh, man. See, I hate making the choice, though. I do know how to play the game, and I have watched the tournament, and when I was a kid, I played it all the time. Uh, let's see this card. All right, so this corner is going to screw up the value of the card. Let me show you. Let me zoom in. See that? That's a nine. So we're looking at a nine Zorark. Tell you what, let me just look up. Is a nine modern card, which is not going to go for much, I'll be honest with you. Unless it's a chase card, like a Charizard. In this case, I don't think people are breaking down doors for the Zorark. Let's find out. We're going to go over to eBay. Shining PSA 9 Zorark. All right, and the nine, we're going shipping lowest, not highest. Lowest shipping is, oh, it's really low, man. It's only like $25. It's not worth it because I have to grade it too. So, I mean, if you if you want to keep it, that's probably your smartest move. If you want to trade it, I would trade it for like one pack. And it's, that's, that's not a good trade for you. So you should just keep them. The trade's not worth worth it because he's like, let's do it. You will very likely lose it, though, man. You'll very likely lose the value. You ready? He says, I'm a gambler. All right. If you say so. I don't even know if I'll grade that Zorark. PSA 9, huh? Maybe, maybe I will. I do, I do think you can get PSA 9 cards, especially vintage PSA 9 cards, but when it comes to modern cards, I wouldn't get PSA 9 unless it's the chase card from the set. So, like, PSA 9 Test 2 Mewtwo. Ah, and it's a Latios. Latios! Adios, Latios. Tough luck, man. Let's see. And this was for, by the way, this was for Tyler M. Let's get you into a bag. Don't do it! He says that's the name of the game. Let's get this Mewtwo in. That's going over to Tyler. I'm surprised that card was only going for 25 as a PSA 9. Don't do it unless it's half price. All right, guys, I got one half price um, jungle card. Under collected. What? Who's under collected? I'm the undertaker. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? Ming? Can't talk to me in that tone of voice. I'll beat up your mommy. Cheese says, cough, cough. Is there a big difference between a vintage PSA 9 and vintage PSA 10? Yes, there is a huge difference. Uh, but often, if the often if the uh, card is popular enough, it'll still maintain good value at 9 and even appreciate. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a very large difference. Come on, man. Show me codes. My Discord is mventus916. Nice. Let's go. Temlet says, let's go. All right. Good luck, Temlet. Good luck, Temlet. One and two. Sweet. You're going to make me run out of Shining Legends like in a day. He looks like the front of a car. 
Those those eyes look like like headlights. As long as you're not cutting them, Temlet. Lily, Quillfish, Stunfisk, Bulbasaur, Golet, Voltor, Buzel, and Hoopa! Next pack. How much are the Shining Legends? I'm selling them $8 a piece. You can buy as many or as few as you want. So if you want to just try one, you can try one. This often allows for, like, sniping. And that's a Veltal. Yikes. Tough, man. Three cold packs. That is tough. Tumblet, the hero we didn't need, but we didn't deserve him either. However, we still respect. Where is, um... Oh, I do have another box. Tough pulls, man. Temlet's questioning his whole life right now. He's like, maybe I should have moved to Colorado. Throw this over here. Throw this over here. God, these freaking stupid. I lived long enough to become the villain. Oh my God, jeez. <laughs> I, I got a bunch of energy cards if you want them. Unified and shining. Unified and shining. Sounds good. Let's do it. Dude, what if we pulled the Mewtwo Mew today? That'd be crazy. We haven't seen it in a while, even though we've gone through a lot of Unified. Just throwing it all out. Surprise birthday. What are you getting me for my birthday? Pokemans? I'll take some Pokemans. I will collect every Oddish in the world. Mark my words. Nice, man. Okay, move that over there. Time for some Unified Minds. Let's get these Unified Minds going. And one Shining Legends. I will be the Oddish King. The King of the Oddish. They call him the Oddish King. For on account of how odd he is. So we still have Neo Discovery packs for 80 bucks if anyone's interested in Neo Discovery. Right here. Best pulls are Espeon, Umbreon. There's a Tyranitar in the set as well. A Scyther's in the set. He's pretty hot. Some of the better pulls in the set. Actually, apparently there's a Dark Raichu in there and nobody's pulled it. If I were to purchase a pack, where would I... Where would I purchase? YouTube? Uh, there is a link in the description. And, wow, look at this Giratina. There's a link in the description for Streamlabs that you use, okay? The Streamlabs link allows you to purchase them from me if you're looking to buy some during the live stream. Cubone, Yanma, Ryolu, Purloin, Joltik, Electric, and Keldeo. Nice. Do you think I'm odd for being an Oddish? I think you're a normalish. Toss that over there. Do you think I'm ish ish? I think you're ish ish. Arangaroo, Stadium Nav, Pikachu, Licky Licky, Magmar, Fletchling, and Meloetta. Game Economist, Dream Universe. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. We've got Salazzle, Drift Blim. Last pack is going to be a white back code card. Let's see if we get a chance for a secret rare. Come on, secret rare. Karate Belt. I'd love to collect a bunch of Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray cards. What? Ah, it's going to be another GX. All right, let's see what we get. Mawile. It's been a while, but we haven't seen a Mawile, and now we have. For the Shining Legends. I can't believe that Zorak was only going 25. Man, PSA 9 on the modern cards is, is kind of killer, except for, except for chase cards. It's like the only exception. Latios. That's pretty tough, Temlet. Temlet, you're ready to get the unlucky roll at this ro at this point. No, it hasn't been that unlucky, has it? You have some good pulls today, haven't you? Can't remember. Here we go. We're tossing that in the bag. To be fair, you must have an extremely high IQ to understand TGC streams. That's right. That's right. We're ending. We're ending the matriarchy. We're putting an end to the matriarchy to save the country. To, to save the fatherland. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just saying shit. 
We have to stop the patriarchy. <laughs> Who went? Who's TGC? I only know of TCC. You know, TGC, my, my old brother, my older brother. So if you guys would like, we could do another dice roll for the Neo Destiny pack right here. You can see I've got all six of the number on the dice pulled out and it's $14 to enter. Let me know if you want to play. Let me know if you'd like to play. It's the it's a game of Das Boot. Das Booten. Oops. What the hell? See? Oh, I see. It gets stuck behind this heel. Well, what if I do it like this? Checking my bank. <laughs> Huh, maybe I'll do it like that. Oh. The frick are you doing? Playing Das Boot. Have you never played Das Boot? Wow, this guy's never even played Das Boot. We're playing a game of Das Boot. Cheese. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Uh, Just like those are government birds. You. Have you ever seen the government birds eat? They're not real guys. Jacob says, why would you have such a stupid name? Whoa. That's a weird bottle. Oh, it's a, it's a shop bottle. The Germans have a game where you drink beer out of a, out of a large glass boot, right? That's a drinking game that the Germans play. And so you can get a little shot glass and it'll be a little boot instead of a, you know, just a regular shot glass. I never knew about government birds. Are you working with the government? Put me on six. That's right. All right, Chief Buffalo's in. We need five more players. I'm gonna go grab some candy while you guys sign up. Now you're all stuck staring at that screen. What are you doing, kitty? All right, I'm back. <laughs> oh, I'm starving. Jacob says, I love halflings. Halfling. Oh, my God. Put me on two. Riker's in. Put me on two. Riker the biker. All right, we're needing four. I'll just be over here playing Animal Crossing while you guys decide if you want to play. If you guys decide you want to risk it all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How much of my face can you see? <laughs> Getting a good reflection going on there. Hold on. Can I play this without freaking? It's like I can't play without a face reveal. <laughs> I saw his face. Oh my god. 
Yep, that's right. I have a forehead just like all you. <laughs> we saw his face. Face reveal. Look at that hair, man. I got that good hairline. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God, I'm a beast. Did you see that tarantula catch? That's not, you can't do that easily. That's skill, man. Look at my wife. She's got the cowboy hat on. She's trying to do like a little house on the prairie kind of style. It's only safe to have a mask, then you can play all you like. <laughs> She's got the little dolls. Oh! To help move dice. Not supposed to buy. Pick any number. DL, what are you doing, DL? That's against the rules. You can't buy. DL, you're going on one. DL. All right, we need three more players. Is fourteen dollars to play? We're we're giving the prize is the Neo Discovery Japanese booster pack. All right, so it's a really cool prize. You got a one in six odds of winning on 14 bucks. We need three more players. If it takes much longer, you guys will play against the house. Everyone's got the same odds, so it's not like a, you know what I mean? TCC has a face, and it's confirmed. Das Boot. Das Boot. That's going to be Imposter Gary Oak. Hi, G. Oak. Justin says cost is $14 if you want to play. Kind of pricey, I guess. I thought Game Economist just had a mouth and eyes. That's right. I have no nose. I'm like Voldemort. Gary played high stakes against Mahasvara, man. Holy. That was scary. I got scared. I'm selling pictures of TCC's... Do not buy pictures of me. I will do a face reveal instead. I don't think he has a real picture, though. Kubenstein says, I suppose no more hidden fates. What? I do not give you permission to sell, to make money on the likeness of my image. That's. I think that's actually a thing. I think that's illegal. I think you could actually get sued for that. Dr. Kubenstein says, uh, we will have more hidden fates in the near future. <laughs> Take PayPal. <laughs> You don't even make sense. You guys, I know you guys are lying about, you know, selling the picture, but you don't even need to buy the picture. Just rewind the stream. Easy. If if I did a face reveal, it's, it's previously in the stream. You just rewind the stream. Easy. I don't want you guys paying for my face. You guys are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> We need two more players. Don't pay for a picture of my face. Get in that freaking dust boot right now. Dota says there was a face reveal. There was like a partial reveal because I had my wife's uh, Nintendo Switch and I think the upper part of my face was shown off. I will buy a pack for a reveal. Gonna put your face on a blanket. You're too funny, man. This is where all the face reveals happen. My wife's face was revealed. Uh, my face... Blurred versions of my face were revealed. Is, is this goddamn... This is where it happens, man. Yeah, reflections are pretty powerful. We need two more players. Are you guys telling me I did partial... You guys are telling me I did partial face reveal and that there is not two more people who can pitch in to play this game? We gotta get started, guys. I'll give you guys a minute, and then I'm going to go ahead and start it, and you guys are going to have to play against the house. Great channel, come with a great price. <laughs> I just don't want to play against the house, because I'm worried that I'll win, and uh, 
I don't want to win. I want you guys to win. No problem, Gessie. Gessie, you don't have to worry about it. Gary, you definitely can buy another spot. Yeah, Beck did that earlier, so that is fine. Oh, no, not for the four packs, just for the one. Sorry, let me uh, make it less confusing. Yeah, it's not for four packs. That'd be ridiculous if it was for four packs. Move that over there. And move that over there. I'd name my dog Cheese. That's right. King Taco says he'll play. Nice. All right, so then we need one more player. Actually, we might not need one more player. Gary Oak, I think, said he was going to buy another another slot. I could be wrong about that. Doop -a -doo 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 -doo. Woo! Das Boot. Das Boot. And King Taco number four. Taco and IG Oak. We are good. Yeah, we could do a, a game against the house, but it's like, if I win, it's going to look pretty shifty is all. Number four. Singing songs for us again. What? All right, you guys ready? Here goes. And the winner is Gary Oak, Imposter Gary Oak. Congratulations, man. You're having a crazy night. You're having a crazy night. Holy, holy heck. This is going to Gary Oak. Gary Oak's like, what? <laughs> He's like, whoa. You're going to be airy in a second here. Airy had some crazy good luck the other day. Let's see what you get. Open it up. Another vintage booster pack, guys. So cool. All right, flip this over. And what do we have? Oh, nice. It's going to be the Hound Hour. Such a good card. I don't have that one myself. I wish I had pulled it. <laughs> All right. Where are we? There it is. Gary Oak. Wow, man. You've done really good tonight. What the hell? What the heck? Okay, so that's close. Uh, let's see. What could we do? What could we do? Well, we could lotto off a pack of the jungle packs. Or we could... <laughs> King Taco says, boo! We could sell some modern cards. Or we could wrap up. Or I could break some legs. Hey, man, you trying to sell off my pictures of my likeness? I don't like that, man. Where's my money, man? <laughs> open a rocket box. Oh, easy mode. King Taco, I'm open-minded to opening a rocket box if there were enough people willing to buy the packs up. Riker says, Monster Hunter stream after, or did I miss it? Well, I'll probably do shipping after instead. Yeah, shipping time. Shipping time. Chief says, I'm done for the night. Gary Oak says, how much for Rocket? That's a great question. Uh, I have no clue. If we did unweighed packs, uh, well, let's see. Give me give me one second. You know, it's funny because about a month ago, if I had done this, they would have been cheaper already. That's how fast they're moving. It might be about $165 per pack unweighed. So if 36 people said, yeah, I would buy that, then I would probably do it. Start a list. Only open if all packs sell or claimed. Well, the problem is, if I did a list, by the time the list is done, I think that the cost of the box will have shifted. Do I have an estimate on when cars will arrive? Right. If, if they're out for grading, it will take a long time. But, you know, if I'm shipping them tonight, you can usually expect them in the next seven days. It's pretty standard shipping. Yeah. I mean, they, uh, UPS, USPS, they don't work on Sundays. So it'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You'll probably get them on like Wednesday or Thursday of next week. 
if you're international, it'll be much, much longer to ship them. Yeah. <laughs> International's been terrible. Really long ship times. Wow, look at this table, man. Can I pick up my cards from your house? Uh, if you lived really close to me, I would be open-minded to that. Open first edition English Rocket Box. Is that a price and pack list, list on the left? If we sold 36 packs of the Rocket Boxes in a week at $165, I would open the box. Uh, but uh, we could start a list if you guys want. But I would have to actually believe that you guys are serious. Like, let me just ask you guys off the bat. Who would buy a pack at 165 Because if it's 10, it's, it's not going to be enough. I'm not going to open it. If it's like 10 people. I know Mahasvara would probably buy one or two. Sora would probably buy one or two, maybe. <laughs> Uh, I don't actually know, because I think last time I split them off. DL says I would buy five. Holy. I'll hold you to that, DL, if we open them. I'll walk to TCC's house or sleep over. Dr. Kupenstein says I'd do it. I'd do it. Justin, you're probably looking at uh, unlimited packs. Secondly, you're what you're really looking at are searched packs. So if I had to open a box like this right here, I guarantee you the hot cards are still in the box. Guys who sell their stuff on eBay, what they do is they pull the hot cards out and then they sell the ship packs on eBay to guys who don't understand what they're doing. So you should never be buying those packs off of eBay in my opinion. The Japanese packs have been okay, especially I like to focus on guys who sell like 40 of them at the time, you know. Uh, and we've done well. Like the Japanese packs, there's a there's a Umbreon right there. So we were getting fair pulls out of the Japanese ones, but I would definitely I would not risk it on the stuff like English cards. No way. English cards are too easy to search, too easy to weigh. You wouldn't want to risk any of that. You know what I mean? Like, let me give you, let me give you an idea. If I was some, some guy on eBay, you didn't know who I was. Like, let's just say I was some guy on eBay. Let me tell you what I could do. I could pop into that box find out all of the heavy and midweight packs, start opening all the heavy ones until Charizard or Blastoise gets pulled. After I'm done, I just sell the rest as unweighed. And then you will be like, oh, uh, well, uh, it, oh, it's so cheap on eBay. It's not really though, because you're not really having a fair chance for a real pull. Half Ghost says, why are they scamming like that? Because they can, there's no way to stop them. There's literally no way to know if you're being scammed when you buy English packs on eBay. There's virtually no way to know. It's almost, in my opinion, I just assume, because I don't like to be taken advantage of. I don't, I don't like to be taken for a ride. I don't like to be taken advantage of. So if I was going to buy an English pack, the best way to buy it is from a freshly opened box. And so if, if we sold 36 packs unweighed right now, if we sold all 36 of them, what I could do is right in front of you guys, I could split open a fully sealed box and give out the packs. So we could do that, right? Yes, yeah, your word against theirs and there's nothing you can do about it. So they can say, hey, yeah, this is unweighed. You have absolutely no way to prove that. And it, it is because there's so much money involved, it almost very likely is weighed because, not weighed, it is actually, yeah, weighed and, uns weighed and searched. So if you wanted to make money, what you would do is you would pull all the good cards out of the box and then you would sell all the crap ones on eBay for a good deal, right? But it's not a good deal. It's a terrible deal for the buyer. And it's a terrible way to buy cards. So yeah, if we sold all 36 packs right now from this guy, he would be sealed. I'll put him here on the table and then we will unseal him and then we just go left, right, left, right, down the list of names. That's how we would do it. So um, that's a good way to buy them, actually. And then you have a real serious chance of actually pulling the hot cards. You know what I mean? There's a Charizard, Blastoise, Dragonite, Dark Raichu, Magneton 10, Rainbow Energy 10, right? That's why I'm into Oddish. You never get scammed when you buy Oddish. That's right. <laughs> Oddish is very trustworthy. That's right, Gary Oak. That's probably what I would do. If I could sell 36 of those, I'd split a box right now. I'm glad you stream while I'm working. No problem, Zachariah. I'm working too, man. I'm working my booty right now. 
Hit that like button if you like card channel face reveal. Main channel has never seen my face. How sad. What Neo cards have not been pulled? Uh, that's a good question. Sonic Koo says, I'm a chandelier kind of guy. <laughs> How's it going, Aaron? So for the for the Neo Discovery packs, these are 80 bucks each. And the last time we pulled these, which was last night, we pulled five Espeons out of the packs. So you can ask what hasn't been pulled, but that doesn't mean it's not in here, okay? Yeah, Dark Raichu hasn't been pulled. I think that you still have a chance for Espeon and Umbreon in there for sure. Their Scyther hasn't... He's been pulled like once. Tyranitar hasn't been pulled. So it's just the name of the game, man. I'm selling those for 80 bucks if you want one. Do you have any cards for sell? I, I probably do, yeah. Halfling says, I'd watch you open that rocket. <laughs> if we could sell 36 rocket packs in like a week, I'd split the box open. Yeah, I'd do it for you guys right now. What other packs do you have for sale? Okay, so we have the jungle packs, which I'm selling right now for 90. Uh, we have base set packs. This is Japanese base set, right? And this gives you a shot at the Charizard. These are heavy ones, and I'm selling them at 375. So these very likely are all holographic. These over here are base set light packs. You can open them if you want, but they're more valuable sealed. So you keep this sealed and watch the price move up over time. Or have it graded, like, uh, like this one. See this? If you go on eBay right now, you'll probably find this for like $250 maybe, maybe $300. So I got those light packs back there right now for $150. You could send them off to be graded. I mean, if you don't do it, I probably will. I could send my whole lot of light packs off to be graded. Can we see your Japanese singles? Hot Japanese singles in your area. Um, yeah. Let's see. Do I have a... I might have some of... Well, let's see. Hold on. I have Rocket Japanese. Where did I put my folder? Okay. Here's my Rocket Japanese... Or not my Rocket Japanese folder, but my... This is my Rocket folder, okay? So we got lots of Arbok. Lots more Arbok. I guess I used to have Japanese Arbok. Is he all gone? I guess he's all gone. Here's magnetons. Here they are. So I got some Japanese magnetons back there. Don't have Japanese hypno. I wonder if I pulled them out already. Did I pull out some? I might have pulled out some Japanese cards out of the folder. There's some Japanese gold bat. Dark Blastoise. Oh, there we go. Japanese Machamp. Japanese Slowbro. Okay, so that's mostly it. I feel like I pulled some of these out. Did I sell them to Justin? I think I sold some Japanese Rocket to Justin. Rocket's Duck Trio is smexy. That's right. He's smexy as hell, man. I do not have Expedition or Aquapolis, Aquapolis but I have thought about getting it. Yeah. I have considered it. Look at these Pokemans, man. Are you looking for card enlargement pills? Yes. I never owned a, a Rocket card. I just focus on Oddish. Uh, well, there's actually a Rocket Oddish, so... Yeah, there's a Rocket's Oddish. See you later, man. How much would you want for one of each Japanese card? Damn, I don't know, Casey. Uh, the problem, Casey, is I haven't I haven't looked at Japanese Rocket in a long time, so I have no clue. Yeah, I bought them a long time ago. I, I would be down for a sale. I would just have to pull a bunch of them out, I think. Oh, I just dropped some stuff on the ground. Oh snap! We got we got some right here. Hold on. Yeah, we got some right here. 
maybe like five dollars each five ten oops 15 20 this one's 22 it says it has damage on it 22 uh, 27 something like 27 So that's why there were fewer in the folder, because I had already pulled some out. And I think I did sell some to Justin. So what would you guys like to do? Wrap up the stream. We could do another dice game. If you want another dice game, we could do another coin toss. Uh, you could just... I don't know. It's, it's up to you guys. It sounds like you guys are about done. Whoa! DL! Holos. Holos. I hear you, Mo Moses. Moises? Give me a second. Huh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in your bag, DL. Wow, DL got these so fast. What the hell? What the hell, DL? This is your bag, DL. I'm putting them in. Uh oh. Sorry, Mosset. DL just got them. Uh, Mossit, I can refund you the money. Uh, maybe I can put them together again. Give me a second. Oh, I don't have that. Actually, I know I don't have the Alakazam. Um, let me refund you, Mossit. I bet you paid with PayPal. Give me a second. Logging into my PP. My PP. Octavio. Let me jump over here. And issue a refund. He says, I'll take packs. Oh, I'm so sorry, Octavio. I've already issued the refund. The refund is complete. Sorry about that, man. End of freaking stream, dog. What are you talking about? This stream's going on forever and ever. It is now... All right, let's get this list going. So DL said he'd buy five. Let's get these rocket packs sold. So DL's five. How many, how many packs can I put you guys down for, for the rocket set? I pulled an all-nighter to watch this. Nice, man. How many rocket packs can we sell if I open a box right now for you guys? If I open a box tomorrow. Oh, he says not till next month. I got you, DL. <laughs> rocket booster. We're going... 165 per pack. I bet you Mahasvara would buy one. I don't know if Sora would buy any. Unlucky Leo said he would get two when he gets paid. Get paid, homie. This is the first edition, right? That's correct. What if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said you're a light pack? So we've got seven packs sold. In in theory. <laughs> I'd buy two depending on the price, maybe more. Blazer, the price is $165 per pack. Fully unsearched, fully unweighed. You would see the box open right in front of your eyes. And we will pass the packs out based on who bought them in what order. Then you get sent into graded purgatory. That's right. Until you become a 10. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't sound like there's too much of a crazy... Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it in the Discord. If the demand for the rocket box, uh, rocket packs isn't high enough, I'll probably not sell them yet. That Snorlax I pulled, do you think it would be worth to send that in for grading based on your experience? Uh, I would grade it, yeah. JC is not here. Oh, that's right, JC. <laughs> JC's, JC's cutting his credit cards up right now. So if somebody wants to buy these packs of Shining Legends right here, I will sell these Shining Legends for the normal price, but you get this Shining Ho-Oh for free. So we got three packs, that's $24. Justin says, are the rocket packs Japanese? No, they're actually English. They're English. Should I max out my credit card for rocket packs? No. <laughs> Would you recommend grading any of the cards I got earlier and how much for those packs? These three packs, a total of $24, and you get the Shining Ho-Oh card as well. See? You want to see them? That's a sealed Shining Ho-Oh. As for whether or not to grade your packs, I'm not 100% sure. I, I, don't, I don't even remember what you pulled. Riker? Riker, Tyler pulled the Shining Mewtwo. Uh, yeah, the Shining Legends um, Secret Rare Mewtwo. He should grade that. my Facebook. I messaged one of my friends. I wonder if he's responded by now. What PX you got? How's it going, Quick Quips? What should I open for you, Quick Quips? Should I open up Jungle? Should I open up Neo Discovery? Should I open up Shining Legends? Should I open up uh, Cosmic? What do you What do you want, Quick Quip? When Quick Quip only gets free packs on this channel. She only gets free packs. She, she never has to pay. 100% free. It'll take the packs. Riker and Imposter Gary Oak. All right, so Riker was first, but I tell you what I'll do. I'll do you the same deal, okay, Imposter Gary Oak? Do a Shining Legend. All right, Quip wants a Shining Legend, but first we got to open these booster picks. This is for Riker. Good luck, Riker. Come in and ask to open a rocket box. Oh, no. She better not. Now, we won't open those unless we can sell off all 36 packs. So what we could do is we could create a list. Volcarona, Croconaw, Pikachu, Ekans, Arua, Buzel, Palkia, and Palkia. You're Palkia rich, man. Riker's second pack. Let's see what happens in your second pack, Riker. Commander Riker. Ekans, Golurk, Croconaw. And we've got Zo Zo Zorark. Why did I try to say Zorua? Zorark. Oops. Last pack. What do we got in the last pack? We've got For Alligator, Incineroar, Energy Retrieval, Stunfisk, Ekans, Voltorb, Litten. And Reshiram. Womp womp. All right. So no hot pulls there. Lucky, though, you're going to pick up the Zorark, and you are going to get the Shining ho -Oh. So you're picking up the Shining ho -Oh, which means there's no way to lose. Dude, these vintage packs are hot. They're so hot. They're so schmexy. Move that off to the side. Where would we put Riker? Chief. I know you're here somewhere, Riker. Nighty. Dokuro. I know you're here somewhere. I can't find you. All right, we're going to get you a new pack. I was put to the right. Ooh, we're going to check the right then. Miguel. Temlet. Aaron. Masvar. DL. Strato. Cheese. Temlet. No, that's uh, Angel. Uh, I do not see your bag. You said to the right? Probably I moved you. 
Care Bear. God damn, dude. I got too many cards to ship today. All right. We're just going to give you a new bag. Heck it. He says, I don't know if I was bagged. Open that rocket box. Whoop, whoop. We can't open the box until there's actual evidence <laughs> that 36 packs would sell. I've never seen something so cool open. You are my hero. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so this is Riker. There you go, Riker. And now Imposter Gary Oak. So I'm going to do the same deal for you, man. You're going to get these three. And I'm going to give out the Shining Ho-Oh as well. Thanks for buying these. Let's find out what you get. Codes! That's right. Who's got the codes? Show codes, mister. Hey, mister. Mister, you, you got any, um... I'm from Brazil, and the codes are really expensive here. And, um... You got any codes? I wouldn't mind some codes, actually. My mom said that, um... I should just ask you. Zekrom. Oop. Pack number two. If we buy a rocket pack, can we opt to keep it sealed? Absolutely. Absolutely you can. That's exactly what you should do. Great Ball, How, Jinx, Shroomish, Minum, Quillfish, Zorua, and Verizion. What are these packs right now? What the hell? We need some hot packs. Some hot booster picks. Electrode, Breloom, Ekans, Golurk, Voltorb. Oh, there we go. What's it going to be? Nice. Shining Mew. Wow, you're having a good day today, Imposter Oak. Imposter Oak stealing all your cards. Look at the well, the good centering on this, too. That looks pretty well centered. Hot, man. Shining Mew. That's one of the chase cards in this set. That's why people like it. Very good. All right, so Shining Ho-Oh and Shining Mew. Gary Oak's just like, I need to go to the casino right now. I'm blessed by the Poke Gods right now. I've had a bad day. <laughs> you've had a bad day today? Wait, you're not singing the song? You've just had a bad day? That sucks, man. Yes, absolutely, Dr. Koopenstein. That's, that's how we normally do it. So the way it works with the unweighed cards, as we go through them... I, I can weigh them for you, and you can tell me that you just want to keep it sealed, and then we just move on to the next guy. So that's we've we've split off two boxes of Rocket, if you guys didn't know that. Like, let me show you. You see that right up there? That's an old booster box. It's an empty booster box of Rocket that we've split off on this channel. So if we split off a box, it'll be the third box that we've split off. Number three, Una Dos Tres. But I'm not going to do it unless we can sell all 36 packs. That's the rule. Blazer said, I spent 5K on packs, or I'd get more TCC. Whoa. What are you thinking, Blazer? Blazer, you could have bought a whole rocket booster box. What were you thinking, man? Man, you could have bought a whole box, put it up in a locker somewhere, and I swear to God, the box would have appreciated. Good luck, though. Yeah, I agree. So if you're going deep 5K, good luck, man. Hopefully you pull what you want. Blazer spanked 5K on two packs. Such a baller. Aaron says, I have had it for a long time. 2010, no tears, no bending. What are you talking about? Dark Charizard? When it comes to raw cards, I would I never trust their value. Uh, I, I'm trying to sell my raw cards at a, a low price. And uh, I don't like dealing in raw cards. They're scary. They're unpredictable. And everyone disagrees on grades. <laughs> Put them on the list. What? Gary Oak says, I'd buy a rocket pack. Well. Hi, I'm back and surprised you're still live streaming. In fact, I am. I am still live streaming. Cheese says, I'd buy a cheeseburger. Please, sir, I'd like one cheeseburger. Please, sir, I'd like one cheeseburger. At least one cheeseburger. Doo 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 doo. -do. 
Whoa, man. Somebody listed all three. Jungle Fossil, Team Rocket, all first edition. They want 16K for it. What's 16K divided by three? Like five, a little over five. It's like five, three. Not a bad price, actually, considering how fast Jungle went up. Jungle's crazy now. Jungle is crazy. King Taco, the PSA 10 Dark Charizard, I think is going for like 2,500 now. I can look them up. I got eBay open. Give me a second. So first of all, the cheapest booster box of booster box of Team Rocket is actually now six thousand dollars. So the truth is, I would not sell my packs at one hundred sixty five. I would sell them above that because the cheapest box is six thousand. And so when you factor in PayPal fees, which is three percent, so there's a transaction fee and then three percent, and then also taxes. So you get taxed by the government for selling stuff, uh, and then after you've added shipping as well you will actually lose money at $165 a pack because you can't replace it. Uh, there is a $5,000 box that nobody's buying, and that's because it's a busted box. You can see that it's been crushed, and he's selling it from the Netherlands. So it is neither presentable, nor will the packs inside guaranteed not be ruined from having been crushed. So the cards inside can be ruined, and it's being sold by a guy with zero, zero feedback, and he's from the Netherlands. Not that there's anything wrong with the Netherlands, but it means it's going to be a long shipping. So in order to replace one of my boxes, I would need to spend six $6,000. And I don't think I want to split it off at $6,000. I'd probably split it at $7,000 now. Divided by 36. That means the packs would move from 165 to 194 The packs would be just shy of 200 now. It'd be $194 per pack. And that's because vintage stuff is getting pricey. Did you know that? Did you know that the vintage stuff is getting pricey? Hey, these are home baked. That's right, cheese. Yeah, I would not sell them at 165 now. I would sell them at 194 That's how it's going, guys. The, you guys should have invested in these when they were still $3,000 and $4,000. You know, uh, actually, one of the things that happened on this YouTube channel very early on, when I had just a few of you guys in our group, Sora had me help him get a rocket booster box. He bought it for $4,000. That was like maybe five, six months ago. So he bought one of these vintage booster box for $4,000. Look at them now. They're going for $6,000. He literally, his box appreciated by like $2,000 in a few months. Wow. Crazy, right? And that's because people know that these are actually rare and that they keep getting opened. Like you guys are all like ready to split one open right now. Uh, and probably, you know, if, if if this community was large enough, there probably would still be enough buyers to split it off. That's the craziest part. So, pretty crazy. I'll take the booster packs. We could do another uh, dice roll if you guys are interested on another Neo Discovery before I wrap up. I don't know if you guys are interested. Those are pretty fun. $14 to enter. Your odds are 1 in 6. <laughs> King Taco says, dice game for a rocket box. $1,000 per spot. Uh, you know, that would be pretty freaking wild. Um, maybe. <laughs> I'd have to sell <laughs> 6 spots, huh? Gary Oak says, I bought a couple Shining Pokemon and noticed they went up in just the last week. That's how it's going, man. That is how it's going. You know, I sometimes wonder, because I'm sitting on a few boxes myself, and they got, you know, obviously they have a certain value to them, and I'm wondering if, like, if I just sat on the boxes for a full year, if they would just double in price again to, like, 12000 each, and then I would have, like, five of these boxes at twelve. I'd be like, holy cow. Wouldn't have to sell six box. Mahavar will buy three. Woody, Mahavar doesn't do too many of the lottos. Stim checks been jacking up the market. I don't think it's even the stim checks, to be honest. I think people just love Pokemon cards. You know, if you think about it, yeah, so there's some stim checks, right? But I think at the same time that there are people who are selling off their cards in order to deal with not, you know, not having a job. 
So there's a there's a mix of stim checks and cards on the market, new cards on the market. You see what I'm saying? So they should be leveling each other off a little bit. The truth is, if the economy was going real hard right now, if it was going strong, I don't even want to know how these cards would have moved in the last two months. People long to relive their childhood. That's right. Chief Buffalo says, you are the reason I am into Pokemon cards now. Well, yeah, that's probably part of it too. So I created this channel and we got kind of a little community going and that's probably driving up the market a little bit itself. All right, guys. We can either wrap up the stream or we'll play this game or because uh, I got to I got to actually get to work at some point. I got to do something productive. So if you guys want to play this, let me know. If not, we will end here. I'll show off some cards so you can all feel jelly in the belly. When I'm homeless, I'm blaming you. Show off some cards. Don't shoot my cards yet, mister. Sounds good, Cheese. I will hold your cards. These are some cards I uh, obtained recently. How much did I pay for the Charizard imposter? This was $700 at the initial price. The initial price of this guy, quite high, uh, but he's going right now for 7,000. And I believe there's like 197 of them or something like that. This Shining Charizard costs more than an entire box of uh, rocket, rocket booster packs. King Taco, you got a PSA 9 Dark Blastoise. Cool, man. Oops. What the heck? Oh, man, I'm going to break my battery for my computer. I got to be more careful. Uh, what, am I, what am I looking up? PSA pop on the Charizard. Okay, and we're looking for Neo Destiny... Pokemon Neo Destiny. All right, and Charizard 197. What are you guys sharing? And this was done on April 25th, so. 425 So he was running around $7,000 on April 25th with 197 uh, 197 of them in the population. This is one of the things I do on this channel is I track how the cards change over time. Sharing AOC's number. <laughs> we want the Black Star Mew, huh? Promo Black Star. All right. Whoa, the Mew's actually kind of rare. I didn't notice that. I just bought him because he looked good. What? How many of these are there? There's uh, 162 of them. I didn't know that. Black Star Mew, PSA 10. And there's a bunch of non-hollow ones, but we want the actual hollow ones. There we go, hollow. Yeah, just about 700. Huh. Crazy how much these have changed. So that's 162 for that, okay. Okay, thank you, Riker. Riker, just say that as you in the message, okay? Just be like, I'm Riker. Hopefully more mail tomorrow. Okay, we're going to toss that to the side. I think you guys are all done.
place this up here. Okay, that's the end of the live stream. We had a lot of fun. We opened up a lot more vintage packs together. We had a high stakes vintage pack roll against each other. We've been enjoying the boot game. Uh, wow, what a great stream. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. You guys want a last look at the table? Want a last look at my face reveal? That's bulk on the right. See that? Have a nice night, everyone.